I put my audio down by like a decimal because sometimes I feel like I'm blowing out the audio. And then uh, I increase the audio of the alerts. Hopefully they don't blow out people's eardrums when they hear it. Why the, f why the hell are my lips so dry? Why do they feel so dry? What's wrong with that? Anyways, we're back. More Sly Cooper 2. Where we last left off, we uh, we goofed it up super bad. And wow, I already hear a clue bottle. We goofed it up super bad. And um, I'm gonna switch to Sly. And the, the second episode with Rajon, <laughs> that whole entire stream was, was me just lose my mind and then we did a little bit of the of this episode i forgot what this episode is even called jailbreak i think it's called jailbreak right bentley bentley and jailbreak right so we managed to get sly out murray is still locked up we got to go get him and and retrieve the clockwork heart that he has on his person i believe I'm just trying to, I'm trying to process some thoughts in my mind right now. Alright. So off screen, I did do some grinding. Yes, I did grinding in a Sly Cooper game. I went and I bought uh, all the, all the upgrades we can buy for Sly, uh, all the upgrades we can buy, all the upgrades we can buy for Sly, Murray, and Bentley. So we don't have to worry about that at this point. We have all the abilities. And then I did play through, I did play through this episode, but not the next because I want to get like a little bit of, oh shit. I want to get like a little bit of practice in so that I don't, I don't goof up like I did last time we played this. But I did not grab all the clue bottles. I know that for sure. So we got to run around and go pick those up whenever we see them, right? Oh, he's definitely going to see me. Come on, Sly, grab the, grab the pole. What are you doing? Work that pole, raccoon boy. There's really no need for me to steal out of his pockets right now, but I, I just really want what's, what's ever in there. Bronze metal. Worthless. You sickened me. All right. So where's our... Oh, well, we can head down there. I was going to look for our next mission, but it's right here, in front of our faces. Bentley, tell me what we're doing. Okay, Sly. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to his cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. I really like, I really like Sly's audio. I don't know why. It's like really clear and crisp for some reason. Like his VO work. It's nice. I'm jealous of it. I wish I had that. I wish I had that for my audio. Psst, Murray. Hey, Murray. Huh? Sly? Where are you? Over here. I'm over here, Mutter. Mur murder? Mutter? What did I just say? So I had like a bit of a hiccup you. saying that. <clears throat> I meant to say I'm over here, Murray. Covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You got Oh no, they're feeding my here. boy drugs. We can't no be doing that. That's bad. He seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so. I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes, if I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of He's like, I guess I can take out 50 guys. I'm not... I mean, if I have to. Do I really have to? All right. So 50 guys may sound like a lot, especially for a Sly game. It's actually not that much. And we also have uh, Murray's abilities, the Fist of Flame, and... The Thunderbuckle Launch, which is just like a super jump, basically. And the rest are passives. You can jump now while carrying people, and this one... Objects explode on impact. Usage is automatic. Wait, what? Oh, when you throw people, they explode. Ow! 
Well, not people. I think, like, items, like... Like that. Now, if you ever get in some trouble, you can hop over here, mess with that, knock some enemies directly into spikes. That'll insta-kill them. You have items over here you can throw for use. I think you can throw the dumbbells as well. Nope, you can't. You just break them. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I think that's the only things they really give you to help you out, but it shouldn't be too much trouble. Like, almost every enemy drops health for you. And the Fire Fist! It's one hitter quitter. Incinerates them. So that's very helpful. Make sure you pick up the coins too, which I'm not doing for some reason. I should be picking up the coins. Gonna need these for later. I love whenever Murray does his little firefish stuff. He reminds me of a... Uh, reminds me of Squidward. <laughs> From Spongebob. When they all had superpowers and he's like, Krakatawa! <laughs> I missed that episode. That was such a good episode. Aw, oh, come on. Thunderflop, you're getting me killed. So we're at 24. Halfway there. That's good. Making good progress. Come on, guys. Come over here. You know you want to. What? Did I burn myself? What happened there? Oops. Gotta press triangle first. Forgot about that. <laughs> the pink terror. Yeah, I should've saw that one coming. Come on, Murray. God damn it. Give him the fist of flames. How many I got left? I got nine left. All right. Wait, what? Oh, you can throw them into the lasers? All right, Wolf Boy. Calm down. Hey, Breezy, how's it going? Give me a second. <laughs> I saw your name. Right. Give me a second to read it. Don't want to get too distracted. 47 going to heaven. <laughs> 48. Ain't no debate. I love Murray. Come here. All right. Day two of catch and twist stream. Not much. I had a very, I had a very dull day. <laughs> I guess dull. I kind of just woke up super late, watched some anime, and then uh, listened to like podcasts while I, while I did some grinding for uh, Persona Three. And oh boy, grinding in Persona Three is not fun. Especially since you can't control your teammates. You're like, come on, Mitsuru, just kill them. She's like, nah, I'm Aaron Karen. Bam, got him. <laughs> Found out your psychic terms. Move from next Tuesday to next. Oh, okay. So you got more time to study for that, if you do study. I never studied. I never studied, and I still did fine. All right. Sly, what else we got for you? And that Murray's out there. I'm trying to think the last time I actually studied for a test. I think it was a... Uh... Hmm. No birthday midterm. Oh man, that would suck if you gotta take... <laughs> you had to take midterms on your birthday? That would suck. That'd be so bad. You know what I always question? Right? Well, not quite. Well, I guess questioned. More more like wondered instead of questioned. Is whatever happened to the kids? You know, in high school, you have those kids who are just like, who are just like, you know, fuck it. I don't need school. And then they head to like their state test and they just circle anything. And then they just leave after like five seconds of the test starting. It's like, whatever happened to you guys? Are you guys, did you guys at least get like a, a decent job? Something where you can, like, live off of, or... Wait, what's going on with that? How did that work out for them? I can't imagine good. <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe, maybe their SoundCloud took off. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. It <laughs> sounds like where are they now? <laughs> That's correct. Love to help. Well, this guy is running an Italian restaurant. How he got to that far? How he got that far? I don't know. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues. I'm really trying to wonder though. It's like I pose like a statue. The guards walk on. It's like I only saw like one of those people once. You're a genius. Like after graduation, and it was just like you know some random spot like the, like the store or something. And I don't mean like they were working there, just like I guess they were just buying something or stealing. You know they do that too. Gotcha. You done down here, Bentley? Look at this man. Just planting bombs like a freak. All right, gotta knock these out so that I have places to hide. So when these guys come by, huh, look at me, strike a pose. How do you not realize this? It's like one is a complete different color, complete different animal. And its eyes are moving. And it has a weapon. I should get that one down there so I can have like an extra. So I can. So I don't have to take that much time waiting for these guys. There you go. I'm gonna go knock this out. Alright, Bentley, switch places. What's a good game to start on in the Persona series? Well, I'm a psychopath, and I say you start with Persona 1 Revelations. My bad, that's not the full name of the game. Full name of the game is Shimigami Tensei Persona Revelations for the PlayStation 1. <laughs> but, since that game is super old, if you really want to go back to it, you can play, well, if you have a PS Vita, you can buy like up to you can buy up to Persona 4 on the PS Vita if you have that right um sorry I lost my train of thought there but if you don't want to go to the old Persona right and I don't fault anyone for that because that's like that's where Persona was still getting its legs uh the one I would say to start with so that so that you don't because let's be honest, once you get to Persona 5, you're never going to want to go back. There's so many quality of life improvements that they did to that. That's so amazing. And it makes things everything. And especially Persona 5 Royal. Damn. But, uh... I would say Persona 3, because it's the first time they did the... The social link system. Right? The, the version that everybody knows now. But if you're going to do Persona 3, do Persona 3 Portable. Because the biggest change in that one is that you can actually control, you can actually control your teammates' movements. Right? You can actually tell them what you want them to use instead of setting them to, I want you on support! And then for some reason, you're wondering why Akihiko is sitting there lowering everyone's speed down one by one instead of lowering their attack down all at once. And then you're just questioning yourself. You're like, Akihiko, I love you. Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Um, but if you do play Persona 3 Portable, which you can get for $20 on the on the PlayStation Store via the uh, via the uh, PS Vita, if you have that, or PlayStation TV, I have both. <laughs> then uh, the trade-off for controlling your teammates and stuff is that. The game treats it more like a visual novel, so you can't really walk around the area. Hey, Sly Fox, how's it going? And then, um... There's also some other nice things to that. There is a female protagonist playthrough that they added in at the expense of taking away the 
uh, epilogue episode that they had in Persona 3 FES, which is what happens after the main game. And then they would never throw another female protagonist ever again. Until Persona Q2, where they're like, hey, look at this. Because <laughs> you're completing, uh, completely new to the game in general. Okay. And ga wait, to gaming in general? <laughs> wow. So you're way behind. Persona's not really way behind, right? If you don't know what Persona is, let, let me be honest with you. Most of the people, like, I get that it's a meme, right? But it's really true. Most of the people who really like Persona 5 never even played it or beaten the game or played any other Persona game, which you don't have to play any other Persona game. Also, Persona 4 Golden is on Steam if you want to get that. And it's a good version of that game. A little bit of stuttering during, like, all-out attacks, but nothing game-breaking. Playing that game at 60 frames is amazing. Uh, let's see. Did I... Am I done with the Contessa mission? No, where we last left off in the last episode... Episode? Last stream... Of Sly is that... <laughs> is that, like, I was goofing around too much. So... Most of it took place in, uh... In the second episode with Rajan, and then we busted out Sly. And that's where we ended after busting Sly out. So this is still somewhat the beginning, right? Right now we're working on getting Murray out. And then we're gonna have to go and grab all the clue bottles. Cause I want my damn upgrades. Let's see. If I, if I didn't, you have a trick for it. Tell me what is said trick. I would like to know. Do you mean like uh, when you're stealing from the Contessa? Because I have the alarm clock to help me out with that if I need to. But you really don't. You can just take out the guards. Why am I fighting you guys? I'm goofing off. Get out of here. I hate that they jump back up and hit me. Uh, Alright. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay, well that was goofy. Close to the Contessa, I gotta get in there, which an easy way to do that is for me to head this way. Don't turn around. Huh. I'm not worried about those guys. I'm keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. I did do a practice run for this, for this episode, not the next one though, so. Once we do that, <laughs> once we get into the next episode, it might be goofy. Jump behind Contessa, don't worry about the guards and press circle. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can do that too, it's just risky for me. I'm not, oh, spotlight. I'm not, <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not that good. I'll mess it up, and then she'll turn around, she'll be like, Oh, Sly! How dare you touch a lady's back pocket? It's so tempting to steal it. I want you to turn around. Thank you. Here we go. Man, one thing that I forget about in this game is that it's a little disappointing as to how the special abilities work. Because in slide one, you can just use them whenever you want. There was no, like, meter. In this game, they put a meter, but in order to regain it, you have to have full health and then pick up health up, uh, pick up, uh, more health to get it back. Instead of it just regenerating. That's something that the later games are better with. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out if the guard's sure to come running. Hold up, Bentley. You want me to alarm, not be sneaky? To turn it off. <gasps> so e gags, how dare you? The code. Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. 
Should I hit all the security stations out here? Yes, Sly. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Oh, Sly, you beautiful, dumb, stupid, dummy dumb sometimes. How I love you so. Alright. I don't know why I get enjoyment out of that. I do, though. Well, didn't mean to hop on that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Also, stop sleeping on the job. Oh, wait, no, why'd I do that? <laughs> the moment I did it, I realized, wait, I need him alive. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Forgot. Forgot. I was living in the moment. Living like Larry. Nice work. Now All right. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect spot. <laughs> He's like, now Sly, we're gonna need the security guard alive. As Sly shoots him, he goes, sorry, what was that? I didn't hear you. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over his brain splatting on the ground. Can I make that jump? I don't think I can. Pickpocket then, <laughs> then beats him up. I, can I make that jump from here? Come on, Sly, grab the ledge. I know you can. It's not that. It's not that far. Alright. Now where's the next one? Well, we need these clue up. I should be picking up these damn bottles while I'm here. I'll do it later. Oh, uh, what? What was that about? Okay. Get up there, Sly. Thank you. Down there? Or they made security code a big, as big as possible. Not only that they made the security code as big as possible, but they also... <laughs> they also put it on a screen that, like, if you're down there on the control panel, you can't see the code. What's the point of that? Also, hey Shark, how's it going? Alright. Now, what I like to do for this guy is... Is there a... Yeah, I can climb up there. Okay. Do I not have... Oh, didn't have it equipped. There we go. Go check that out. chill day for once. That's good. Hope they can all be like that. 707. Oh, it might be dog sitting. That's cool. I know a lot of people like to throw their dogs upon me and I'm like, fuck it, whatever. I'd rather deal... I'd rather deal with your dog instead of you, personally. <laughs> That's usually how that goes. It's like, hey, can you watch my dog for me? I'm like, if it will get you out of my house sooner, yes. And then I watch their dogs, and I love them so much, because their dogs love me more than they love their owners. And I'm like, oh, they don't deserve you, you little adorable little bastard, you. How I love you. Hey, Laws, how's it going? Also, that's a that's a cute-ass corgi. I love it. Oh, he's gonna turn around. Oh! There we go. Now, where is your thing at? You know what? It's over there. You. Go check that out. Unlock that. 
Don't turn around yet. Don't turn around yet. Don't turn around yet. I should be good. As long as Wolf Boy don't see me. <coughs> this world is great. Yeah, I, I definitely love... Prague is my favorite location. And like all of Sly. Eh, it's not clear, but we can make it out. That's a seven, right? Like, not only that I like Prague because of its uh, gothic-like architecture, but also, I think it's... Is it gothic or is it neo-gothic? It's one of those. But, um... <clears throat> but also, it's supposed to be like a, a dark and moody place. But it's like really colorful by still using a lot of dark shadings and stuff, so it pops out nicely. Oh, I will say sometimes the enemy placement is annoying. That's for sure. <sighs> you can't find me. Oh God. No, leave me alone. I don't want to use my ability. Because recovering this stuff is not fun. Oh, now you're after me. Can you guys stop chasing me? Damn. I could use my smoke, but I don't want to. Okay, we're in the clear. That's good. It's real perfect for slide play style. Yeah, sometimes I will say that the uh, buildings for the... Spire jump, not buildings, but like, you mean to go on like a railway or something, and then, where the hell is the bird? Ah, oh, you just sitting there, wait. Go in the water. Take a bath. Did the bird respawn? What happened? Okay. He went back to his area. That's cool. Yeah, but sometimes you try to... Try to jump on a specific point and Sly will just go completely somewhere else. They fix that in later games, though. <clears throat> oh, come on! You know I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it, but I messed up. Alright. I need you to be... Is that far enough for you? Yeah, that's far enough for you. Wait, hold up. Is there someone up there? Nope. Then we're good. I gotta be pretty fast on this one. Because he gets that panel pretty fast. Whew. Made that one in time. <clears throat> that should be enough coat. Nice work, partner. So I have a question. Does anybody remember George of the Jungle? <laughs> because I remember it being a thing... Being a movie, I don't remember what it was about or what they even did in that movie. The only thing I remember is the music. A tiny bit. What was the... I might be thinking of George of the Jungle 2, but wasn't there like a scene where the ape is like in a bar just wearing like a Hawaiian shirt or something? You don't know the plot. Yeah, I don't remember the plot either. I should rewatch that movie. I don't know why. There's no reason for me to rewatch it. You didn't see nothing, Tank! Krakatoa! Ah. Off the bridge you go. Uh, damn it. Okay, well he just jumped over me and let me pass. That was nice. Safety. Want to make an animated gif of Sly and Ninja Spire jumping? You mean you mean Sly as a ninja or Ryuichi Cooper <laughs> from Four, voiced by Steve Bloom? He's like, ah, oh, yes, Bentley son, and I'm like, ah, oh, yes, racist stereotype. Sly just spire jumping, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it is about, like, the older Sly games, but there's something about, I guess, 
the way the the jump and the physics feel and how it all come together, which just sticks out more than Thieves in Time. And I know it's different developers, right? Three games are Sucker Punch and Thieves in Time is Saranzu. Saranzu? Saranzu? Although they did do, uh, they did do the, uh, HD collection that we're doing, but it's a port. So they're using the, they're already using the code that exists for it. Okay, are they both in there? They are both in there. Hmm. But, um, <clears throat> I keep getting, like, spit in the back of my throat for some reason. But I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, it just feels completely different. It feels more fun just to jump around in this game than it does in... ...in Sly 4. Like, even just the platforming. Even though it's not all that different. I will say I do miss the fact that I can run around without making any noise, though. What was that man's plan? What did he think was gonna happen? He jumped out at me, I swung at him. All right, calm down, Mr. Bat. You're missing all your shots. I gotta get up there and get that. <clears throat> the writing in the play style, try too hard. Yeah. I mean, I do... The writing for the main story, I feel it's fine. The play style is... It feels more stiff, but... The characters are just... The characters and their character arc are just... Besides Sly, they're just all over the place. Right? The the Shining Stars of four for me is definitely Sly, Carmelita, Bentley, and Kid Cooper. Everyone else is kind of weird, even Murray. Murray is like super weird in that game for some reason. Also... Uh, I got no problem with it, but for some reason they keep hinting that Murray's, like, gay or bisexual or something in that game. I mean, if they're gonna say he's gay, then just say he's gay, man. I see no problem with it. You ain't got a hint at it. Like, they really go heavy with that stuff for some reason. And it's just, like, out of nowhere. But they don't, they don't, at least they don't shove it in your face, though, right? Let's see. <clears throat> Had to go for it. Uh, his job was, wait, what? What did I miss? Did I miss something? Oh, you mean, wait, what? Who had to go for it? You talking about Sly? Also been years since played. Don't know if you played more than it, uh, more than once. I played it more than once. I know I have. But there's just, I don't want to get too into it because we still have to play Sly 3 before even touching Sly 4. But, um, there's just like a bunch of things that happen with the writing for, okay, come on, Sly. With the writing for the characters that are just kind of backwards. It's like all the character progression they made through, through 2 and 3 just got like backhanded for no reason. Again, especially Murray, he got the short end of the stick for some reason. Like, they really just... Like, Murray's just, like, a, a different guy. <laughs> and not because of his character progression in 2 or 3. Just, like, they... Like, the writing was just different for him. Oh, the guard, yeah. <laughs> While the guard... <laughs> what was he thinking? Yeah, he had to do for his job. I mean, listen. As long as no one's getting hurt, right? I see a man jumping from rooftops. And I'm like, hmm... Will I win against him in a fight? I won't do it. I'd be like, listen, I'd rather get fired. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. Best believe if some dude's breaking and entering, he has a weapon and I don't. And the wolf did have a weapon, though. Working on a 15-second animation. Naruto... Wait, what? Naruto... Wait... Naruto cross with Hey Arnold? Wait, what? So you want me Explain. To the ground circuit on all these lightning like, is he walking down the walking down the street of the village with Hey Arnold in the background? Robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. 
Also, remember the opening for Hey Arnold, where like everyone's just grouping up and there's it looks like they're all about to start like a, a gang fight, like it's West Side Story or something. Gotcha, Bentley. Can I even make this jump over here? It's a close one. Oh, I had no momentum for that. Come on, Sly. Uh, where is a way for me to get up there? All the way over there, isn't it? Oh, I want this so bad. There's no reason for me to get it, but I want it. <laughs> Let's see. Can link the answer that has picks. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. I'll check it out after the stream. Oh, where are you going, Sly? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. There's an obvious pull in front of this man's face. And he's all like, nah, there's a wire down there. I'm gonna jump on that. That's what I want. Sly, you goofball. Uh, Give me that. I want it. All right. Lightning rod here and lightning rod. Is there not another one? There is. There's one over there. Let's get to the closer one. Was Naruto and Arnold are both blonde? <laughs> yeah. I had a, I had a, not a great idea, but like a nice, fun little. A nice little fun, I guess, tribute, like, like music video idea, project. Oh shit! And even though I probably shouldn't say it, like someone's probably gonna do it before I even, before I even get down to making it. And it's not really that important, but it's uh, have you guys been watching Wanda and Vision? It's great. I love it. It's amazing. I can't wait for the last episode. Right? But... When I'm watching Wanda and Vision... You have not seen it? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's good, but it's not... Sly, where are you going? Again. Pole in front of you, man. <laughs> um... It's not like life change or anything like that, like you know, where people are like, it's a must watch. It's like, it's not. It's just very clever in how it does its things, but not too clever. But not to a bad point. It's like, hey, we're trying, but we're not trying too hard. They definitely take inspiration from uh, Twilight Zone. Oh, that's gonna hit me. That's gonna hit me. Ouch. But, um. When I'm watching it, I'm like, you know what would be like a great nice little music video to put for like clips of the of the TV show? If anyone's ever listened to Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani, <laughs> it's such a perfect song for that for that show as a whole. Right? Like thematically speaking, it just fits so perfectly well. All right. There's a lightning rod down there. Did I get... I got both of them that were up here, right? I definitely did. There's a bottle near me. Oh. Might as well pick that up since I'm up here. Oh, Sly! Huh. Is this gonna shock me? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Hmm. Only see trailers of the show, but it sounds about right. Yeah. Like, uh, it try like, like by episode three, it, it doesn't like, it doesn't try to like, um, be mysterious the whole way through. By episode three, you get an idea as to what's going on, right? Especially if you read the comics. Um, or if you know anything about House of M. But, uh, but there's just like, 
I don't want to talk about it too much because even it, even just explaining like how the song fits in with the show is like spoilery in itself. But it's a great song choice for that. I'm surprised that they didn't use that song for trailers of of the show. Because it fits so goddamn well. Alright, let me see. I want that bottle. Where's the, uh... They're definitely gonna start chasing me. Where is the other one? Is it on the other side completely? Got the whole goddamn town chasing me. Now this guy's after me. There's something fun about getting cat getting caught by uh by the guards running away from them. It's like uh it's like if you were a kid playing Grand Theft Auto for the first time, you're like, I'm just gonna get the police on me to see if they can catch me. But the difference between between this and Grand Theft Auto is that uh they actually give up in this game. <laughs> the police just don't care. They are relentless. I used to do that in Vice City so many times, just like piss off the police. And that was without me knowing any cheat codes. Like my cousin came over once, he's all like, oh, you wanna see something cool? I was like, sure, and he put in like cheat codes in. I'm like, that's cool. Have I played Jack too? Yes, I have. Also, yes, the water tower did turn out to be a giant attack robot. Bentley's like, I told you, you thought I was crazy. You're like, nah, that's just a water tower. I'm like, nah, man, that's a robot. That's a robobot right there. But yeah, I have played Jack 2, and on my, uh, YouTube channel, self-insert here, right? I have a playthrough of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, so I went through that 100%. Now, that was like, that was like back when I was starting to take streaming a little bit more seriously, so it may not be as entertaining to watch, but it's still there, you know? Like, I recently was going through Jack 2 just to see, like, how... Like, I was looking at Jack 2 and Sly 2, and I was like, which one would be, like, easier for me to go through at this moment in time? And oh my god, Jack 2 just doesn't know how to stop sometimes. It just goes on and on. And it's like, when's the, when's the last mission, man? You're making me tired. <laughs> Similar concept, the guards are on you. Yeah, definitely. But again, you can, I mean, it's, it's obvious that Jack 2 definitely ripped off of, uh, or inspired from, um, GTA. Like, even when I first played it as a kid, I'm like, is this, did they just make Jack and Daxter grant that thought of? The first game didn't have guns. And now he's swearing? What's going on? What happened to my my troll guy and the furry little smart ass? And then they're talking about like trading drugs and running weapon deals and and how the government's corrupt. Like the first thing Jack says out of his mouth from being a mute in the first game is, I'm going to kill Baron Praxis. And I'm like, whoa, calm down. Long hair, Mr. Goatee. Even Daxter was like, Jack, you good? You okay, man? Never play, never played GTA before playing Jack 2. Yeah, definitely. I remember getting Jack 2 for the first time, and I was like, oh my god, I love Jack and Daxter. I can't wait to play this shit. And then, uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm going up there. And then, uh, I sat down, came home, put it in the PS2, and then started the game, and, and like, I was super confused because I had yet to do 100% on the first Jack and Daxter. And then, uh, <laughs> the game starts with them in like a fucking time machine. And I'm like, where did this come from? And then, like, you see Kiara later on in the game. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, you're not Kiara, you're a completely different person. What happened to your face? And then the game goes like, forget about Kiara. Let's talk about Ashlyn. 
And I'm like, yeah, let's talk about Ashlyn for a moment. Let's talk about her. What's she doing? Hi, Ashlyn. How you doing? <laughs> and then Daxter's like, all right, let's not talk about Ashlyn. I want to talk about Tess. And I'm like, you sure about that, Daxter? And then Tess is like, yeah, let him talk about me. And I'm like, wow, Tess, huh, pretty progressive there, aren't you? All into that uh, fur and stuff. That's cool. I mean, I'm happy my boy Daxter got somebody, but kind of weird. <laughs> Until the third game, anyways. The third game is where they found their ground for that, though. Instead of being a blatant ripoff for, like, uh, GTA. The third game is definitely where they found that a sweet spot. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Also during the third game, that's when they decided that they really liked the concept of racing. They played with it a bit in uh, Jack 2, with like the vehicle races you did in that. But then by the third game, they're like, what if we made a racing game? And I'm like, what if you didn't? <laughs> what if you didn't do that, Jack? Huh? You love terrorizing the citizens. I love, I love terrorizing the citizens in, uh, in like the wasteland area, because the citizens don't take shit, and like the law of that place is it's a dog eat dog world. So like once you hit them, they just turn around and start shooting at you, and I'm like, oh, how dare you put your hands on me? One of the things that I really miss, though, for Jack and Daxter, besides the games in general, uh, Jack Racing is not Crash Team Racing. Yeah, I love Crash Team Racing. That remake was so good. I don't know why people liked Crash Team Racing Nitro, though. I remember a lot of people, like, when I had that game, I'd be like, hey, you want to play a racing game? We got Mario Kart, or uh, you want to play Crash Team or Crash Team Nitro? And they're like, let's play Nitro. I'm like, why do you like that game? That game is so bad. It's fun, but, like, it's bad. <laughs> what happened to the second guy? What happened to the second guard? Did I take him out? Hmm. But, um, the thing I miss for Jack and Daxter is... It's so weird, because you don't see it no more. Um, and I don't know where it came from. But there was a release of a, uh... Of kind of like, not a movie, but like a, more like a documentary. Uh, alright, let me, let me explain it. It's not a documentary, it's not a movie, it is the retelling of Jack and, Jack and Daxter 1 through 3, all told by Daxter's point of view. And I, you can find it on YouTube, right? And it was supposed to come with the HD collection, like I have both the digital and physical versions of that, but for some reason, it's not there. And I loved the hell out of it, because it's basically just like Daxter retelling the events and just like putting his little smarmy ass spin on things. And I don't know why they, I don't know why it just, why it's like nowhere besides like YouTube now. Where the hell are you, Contessa? Are you on the other side? You are on the other side. Hmm. You get infinite light, Jack. Use the force field and stand in front of people shooting at me. Yeah. Light Jack was great. Like, I remember playing the first, uh, I remember playing the second game and I'm like, I'm like, Jark Dad, uh, Jark? Wow. Yep, that's the same now, Jark. Dark Jack is cool, right? He's cool and edgy. And he's, and you know, at the same time, fucking Shadow the Hedgehog is like, oh boy, just wait for my game to come out. That was a terrible Christmas present. That was a terrible Christmas present that I asked for. I got Shadow the Hedgehog. And I was like, I like Shadow! They gave him his own game, and then I... It was a Christmas present someone gave to me, and I was like, Thank you, I wanted this! And then I started playing it, I was like, I don't want this no more. <laughs> what happened to Shadow? Why'd they kill my boy? Or why is my boy killing them? Oh, she's inside the... Oh, God. How, how do I get up there? I gotta go around. But yeah, Dark Jack, uh, Dark Jack was cool. But then I remember seeing Light Jack and like, he's just sitting there, just like in his little meditation pose and Daxter's on his shoulder. And Daxter's meditating too. And I'm like, why is this so amazing? And then he gets wings and time stop powers and you're like, oh shit, this is amazing.
Oh! Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Can I get up there? All right. All right. You couldn't have done that earlier. And now he's running away. And now he disappeared. What? What just happened? What was that about? You know what? I bet it was the same guy. And he knew if I caught up to him, I'll kill him. And he went like, remember me, bitch? Got that good hit in. He's like, ah, I thought I forgot about you. I survived. Got his good hit in. He's all like, haha, start running away. He got his revenge. Let let's let bygones be bygones, okay? All right. Now, there's that guy up there. Turn around for me. I want to steal from you so bad, but we ain't got no time for that. Now, I believe I got to go around this way because the Contessa is walking the other way. Yes. Oh yeah, for some reason the Contessa like stops in her tracks over here for no reason. There's a lot of goddamn spotlights though. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get through. Uh, I'll wait. There we go. Oh. How do I... How do I pronounce that? Thank you for the follow. I didn't get to see the name. It was like, uh... It was too lightly colored for me. What was it? Was it I felt like it said Rose Petal. <laughs> Let me run over here real quick. Let me get a better look at that. Uh... How do I pronounce that? Is it Roger P. Sapien? Sespin? Roger P. Sespin? Thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. Alright. Come, uh... Come over here for me. And run away. He won't see me. I can get him. Oh, damn it, but the back guy's gonna see me. He'll turn around. No, he'll turn around. I waited too long. I got you. Alright. Up. Oh. Spotlight. Let me through. Damn, Contessa, you walking the walk. I see you, girl. Looking all fine. Thanks for the key, though. Huh? They're gone again. I like the Contessa. She's cool. They should have. They should have saved her for uh, for after John Basson, right? Uh, where would she be now? That way, okay. Am I gonna make that jump? Hell no. I love how Sly just went into a T-pose for that. Alright. How many bottles we got left? A couple. Not bad. About, uh, 23 left. Make sure we grab those before we move on to the next level. I'm trying to remember what the upgrade is for this place. Ah, God, come on, Sly, don't miss the hit like that! Is there any way I can get behind him? You're an asshole! Oh, you're making- Oh, come on! Making so much noise! Damn it! <laughs> I knew she would come up here. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> is that, is that Sly Cooper?
Here we go. I almost forgot the button to press after that. Wow, she didn't even turn around for that. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Thank you. Uh, when you slide getting hypnotized as a stream a stream alert. Oh, that'd be great. I need to, God, I need to get the, uh, I have, I have ideas for, uh, like emotes and stream alerts and stuff like that. And I need to just get the, uh, I need to get in contact with Volta so he can make that for me. I'll probably do it in like, if, if it's, uh, if he has free time to do it for me, I'll probably get in touch with him in like a week or two. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one. We use the Contessa's keys I need Chad Wellington to be a be an emo. It has to happen. While you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then <laughs> rescue my boy Mary. Mary? Did I just call him Mary? Ugh, Murray. Inside, it's like a slip of the tongue. Improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Or the drugs. Don't forget about the drugs, Bentley. Alright, I think Bentley's the one who starts this? He is. Oh wait, hold up. We have his trigger bomb, his adrenaline run, and his size thing. Okay, there we go. Running around at the speed of sound. Leave a little present for you. There you go. Sweet dreams, my beautiful prince. I need to get. Well, first, I gotta get this. Actually, let's see how this. how that goes. I missed. How do I... Is it like a hit? How do, oh, there it is. Oh, look at you. So tiny. Just, <laughs> just backhand the mess out of him. That's nice. Oh, don't go. It's okay. The tank will be fine. What if I got like a... <laughs> what if I got a message that said, Bentley just destroyed the tank. Mission over. Do it again. Tank controls suck. Yeah. I don't think you do that until uh, next level. Like the power facts. The Automatia. Brings back the good old days of uh, Adam West. Rest in peace, you beautiful bastard. Come on, Sly. All you had to do was jump on the damn thing. That's all you had to do. We're going to try that again. There you go. See? Was that so hard? Why you got to be so difficult? I got to go in through here. Don't want to go in backwards. I can't see you down there, so try to keep up and stay out of sight. <laughs> I bet you're happy to say that, Bentley. Try to keep up, Sly. Keep saying that when you get out this tank, run around with your stubby little legs. <laughs> or run around with your no legs in part three. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bentley. I love you. Come on. You know, I never feel like I'm fully undercover whenever I'm crawling under things. I feel like Sly's tail is like sticking out or something. You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay, you're all clear. Head inside and I'll be right behind you. 
You better get outside of the tank before I let loose with the turret, he says as he's shooting the door down. Oh, these motherfuckers. They're kind of like hard to hit for some reason. I have a, uh, I have a spin attack, right? I have confusion attack and, oh, my little roll. I forgot about that. My action roll. Hooah! There we go. They're done, right? Hold square. Isn't that for a uh, slide three? What's next? Well, that should be the guards' control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure no. how you're going oh. to get up there. Don't worry. <laughs> Thinking of my feet is what I Bitly's do. like, I got the control center. But to be honest, you're on your own, bitch. <laughs> Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge. But a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. All right, hold square. Oh, really? Oh, but I don't move while doing it. That's why I don't use it in this game. See, I knew there was a reason why why I barely used the charge attack in the older games. Because you can't move when you use it. Look at this man. His textures aren't even loaded in. What the hell? There's no reason to fight him. He just... He just kept staring at me. Menacingly. Trying to knock him off the ledge. But he won't have it. Why won't the spikes hit you? Go ahead. Walk over those spikes. Do it. You won't. You won't do it. Ah! <laughs> Thought I can beat it. Damn it. Did I not have my... Oh. That's what was happening. I wanted to throw my clock at its face. Loser. Is there not health in here? Oh no, there it is. Oh, he slid off. Sly gets a lot of moves in three? Yeah. There's a... Slide 3 is a... It's a good game. <laughs> but there's just too much. Too many chefs in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, just extra unnecessary... Okay, I get it. Stop. <laughs> extra unnecessary things. That's one thing that I'll give Slide 4 props for. They dialed it back, but they dialed it back a little too much. There we go. Oh, you're gonna shoot me! No! Fall. And then the bird who could fly fell to his death. The end. That's my story, we're sticking to it. I want those coins. Alright. Move it on through. You know what's really weird about this game? I love the music, but none of it is really rememberable for me. I don't think any Sly soundtrack is rememberable for me, actually. Well, that was easy. Alright, oh! Come on! There we go. I've been getting good enough sleep. Recently. Gonna make an effort to fix your schedule. Oh, that's okay, man. If you're tired, go to sleep. I don't blame anybody for that, especially since I stream super late. I love how the wolf is still down there, jackass. Have a good night, man. Sweet dreams. All right. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. Hot stuff. I'm heading to hot. What? That's not. That's not something I would say. 
I don't think anybody in the 2000s, uh, early 2000s was like, hot stuff, man. Wait, what? Is this not the, what? This is where I'm supposed to go, right? Sly? Sly, what is this bullshit? Oh, wait, no, I gotta go this way, my bad. Probably post Naruto animation on your Insta. Like okay. Can't wait so to see it. Twitchy and bug -eyed. I barely use Instagram. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yes. Yeah, he said he was feeling and everything weird. nice. Well, he's weirded out, all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Oh yeah, did you Clearly, even put that there? You didn't even link it out, did you? The hard way. The hard way? Those Thanks for catching on that. Shit. <laughs> he said, I'm going to make this animation. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Check out my animation. Oh, wait. What? Oh. Why is it... Why is it censored? I don't have auto mod on. I don't have auto mod on, so I don't know why it's censored. And I allow links. Let me check. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Damn. You know what? Send it directly to me, right? And then I'll send it out. Yeah. Whisper it. Alright, Murray. Murray? Did I just call him Murray? My bad. Bentley. Let's do this. Okay, I have to go where again? I gotta go this way. I can make it. Made it. Oh! I made it and then I ran straight into the laser. Amazing. Great job, Sly. Can't do it without you. Okay, I'm hacking the laser barrier. Alright, Bentley, you got this. I will say, the later games definitely improve on his hacking stuff. <laughs> it's a, it's a little weird that that like the older games are like, here's the hacking stuff, all these like basic triangles. Ow! Damn it! me through and it's open Let's see flip the switch to turn on the hypno box what's that sound angry get gone what the hell are you doing sly look at him he knows what he's doing So I was like, I'm constantly flexing. I'll take care of the laser wall. You know, Bentley, why don't you just hack it before I get there? Is there like a time limit or something? Ouch. Didn't mean for that to happen. Got it. You guys ever played Geometry Wars? <laughs> this is the feeling I'm getting right now. And I'll be honest, I suck at Geometry Wars. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of bullet hells. Not that they're not bad. I remember playing, uh... What was it? Was it like Super Gradius or some shit on the Game Boy Advance? Game Boy Advance SP had like Super Gradius or something like that. 
or it was called like Stardust or something. I can't remember what it was. It was like a 3D shoot 'em up. That game was like so All difficult. Clear. I don't know why I kept playing that game. I never liked it, but I always played it. You okay there, Murray? Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you. I love how Sly goes into, like, a T-pose whenever he swings. That's amazing. Show your dominance. Ouch. I'm being really reckless. That's for damn sure. Come on. There you go. I can't even spin the damn thing. I was gonna try and spin it around like that. Do a little death... What is it called? Death Blossom maneuver? Fucking god, I'm getting overran. Do you think this is what it looks like when Mr. Game & Watch goes to space? This is the first thing he sees. And he goes, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And his little beeps and boops. It, oh, I gotta go through both of them. But I can just, like, do it out of order. There we go. That should be the last one. Bentley, I love you, but your hacking minigame sucks. It's a nice little distraction, though. And then Murray gets Sonic Legs. What the hell is this noise that Murray's making? You hear that? <laughs> it's like all distorted and shit. He sounds like he's like a Terminator or some shit. He might as well be though. Can you make it through here, Murray? You're gonna keep hitting the wall? Sorry, pal. You're nope, no angel. but since I'm here, it might as well be. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free. And he's got friends. Hmm. Perhaps it's time... Why, she sounds so surprised about that. And he's got friends! He's like, he's not that much of a loser. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con oh, Contessa. She's getting away. Murray, lift those I love how he just whips it out right in front of her. I'm on. He's like, I managed to hide it from <gasps> there she is. Alright. We got this. I wonder can I just smash one button and will it just work? Oh it does. But it'll be faster if I do multiple, right? Yeah, it definitely will be. You know what that reminds me of? <laughs> If, you ever, if anyone ever got to the ending of Kingdom Hearts 2, at the last boss fight, you gotta mash two, you gotta mash two buttons. Let's go. And your hand gets super tired by the end of it. And if you mess it up, you're gonna, you're, you might die. <laughs> you 
It's pretty cool, though. I like it. Oh, come now, Mario. We were making such progress during our specials. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. No, when I look at the Contessa, I think she can like really use a sandwich. <laughs> Some sick burns come in here, yeah. Murray stuttered when he said that, too. It's like, I love Murray, but he's all like, mm, I gotta think of one on the spot. Now, this here is nothing, like, special. All you're really doing is, like, chasing her around. There's nothing you have to do. You just gotta take out these, uh... I don't know what the hell they are. I don't know if they're, like, real or if they're drones. I think they're drones. But how is she laying drones? Maybe she's a robot. Come on, Murray! Damn it! Ah! She's getting away! How was that we'll find her. aircraft the there if there was no pilot? Stand a chance. Good job, team. Also, Bentley, why is your shell purple? It was great. The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me. Even the van ride out of town was like a party. Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for Why is the, the camera shaking so life, much? They're all the same age. Uh, they all grew up at an orphanage together. I like to think that Murray's slightly older than them. I think Sly and Bentley are the same age, though. I think Murray might be like a year or two older. Not really sure. But before we head to the next episode, gotta go back to episode four. Grab those bottles. All right, 95%. Can't leave that sitting there. No siree. But, um, I definitely do, like, like, Prague is also, like, an area where, um, like, like, even before this, in, uh, Rajan's levels, like, you see Murray, he becomes more, uh, confident in himself and stuff like that, right? And then Bentley gets his time to shine, because in the beginning of the game, he's, like, super freaked out. And he's all like, well, now I gotta bust him out by myself. Why am I taking out my Binocucom? That's not going to help me look for bottles. We got about... How much is that? 22? 22 left. Just got to run around and listen for them. Shouldn't be that long. I have pretty good ears. Unless, like, they're hiding in between crevices or something like that. Oh, come on, slide jump up there. I bet there's, like, a good amount of them in the prison. There's one up there. What? Let's see. Oh, shit. But, uh, back... Back to speaking about, like, the characters' ages. You definitely get, like, a good sense of time progression throughout the games, like, definitely in the first game, Sly and Bentley and them are, like, super young. Like, I think they might just be around 20 <laughs> in the first game. 
this game, Sly's probably about like 23 or something. But yeah, they're like super young in the first game. Like, if you look at them compared to like how they end up, there's definitely a lot of time progression there. I think by the fourth game, I feel like Sly's probably like 35 in the fourth game or something. They never say their ages, though. I don't think so. But there's definitely an air of maturity around that. How the hell am I going to get under there? And then again, it's the first time seeing the game. <laughs> Bentley's voice threw you off, yeah. Yeah, Bentley's just supposed to be a nerd. <laughs> He's supposed to sound like a nerd! Your classic stereotypical poindexter. Come on, Sly. Come on. Ah! Uh! God damn it. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. Start glitching through the geometry. That's a weird placement for a bottle. Or any collectible, really. Hmm. Is there one under here? No, it's just a hiding spot. Okay. Good thing they don't hide bottles inside of buildings. I want to get up there, but I don't want... I don't want to alert anyone. Oh, he's going to see me for sure. Just don't call anybody for backup. Okay, there's that. I'm going to run a lap around to see if there's any other ones. Like, hiding up here. Where's that? That's below me. Okay, I can always go back and get that one. How many do I have left? Nine? Shouldn't be too bad. All right, it's pretty quiet around here. Oh, there's a bottle over there. Just floating. What the hell? Is it not on anything? Wait, <laughs> the draw distance didn't load the fence? That's weird. It is a PS2 game, though. I'll let it pass. What the fuck, Sly? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. All right. Is there an easy way for me to get back up there? I think we should be good for for now in this area. I don't think there's any more bottles at the prison. No. Was it over here that I heard the bottle? No, it's further. It's on the other side. Oh, come on, Sly. There you go. There it is. Gotcha. Seven left. Don't mind me. Oh no! God damn you, Sly, your slippery feet. Alright. Heard you loud and clear. Was there another one? I think I heard another one. No, I didn't hear it. My mind's just playing tricks on me, that's cool. There's definitely has to be some under the, uh... What the Where are you going? hear it over here. I'm trying to think if it's above me or if it's below. Sounds closer. Sounds like it's above. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I can just climb up there. Alright, cool. 
Oh, come on, Sly. There we go. Claim thy prize. Five left, so there has to be some under the bridge. Don't mind me. I can't help but think about the water as like grape juice or like wine, very dark wine. It makes me thirsty. A, oh, I thought that was a bottle. I think I hear one. There has to be a bottle around here somewhere. Definitely hear one over here. And there it is. Oh, come on, Sly. How you messed that jump up, buddy? Come on, Sly. There we go. Hit the damn bottle. Got three left. They're probably all on the other side. Unless there's like one down here, which I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think there is. I would have heard it. Not that way. I thought I heard another one. I guess not. Is there one on the, uh, on our hideout? Nope. They all gotta be over here. Or like on the railway or something. Hear any? Hmm. We're going to check the jail grounds again. Maybe there's like three still around in there. I don't think it would be up on the main building though. I hear one. There's one close by. Is it... Is it on this building? They're definitely going to spot me. Alright, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's another one. Oh, shit. Oh, there's one up there. Come on, Sly. Oh, shit. And there's one more. He 
just hide a little bit. Let me just check over here, make sure it's not over here. It might just be back inside. Yeah, it's... Oh. Forgot I can do this. Now, where the hell are you? Oh, you're up there. How come I didn't hear you the first time I went through? Hmm. Oh, there's no... There's no escape point through there. I don't think I can jump up here. Can I? Oh, I can. Nice. I gotta go all the way around? Are you kidding me? There's no place I can climb? I can climb up here, but there's no wire linking that. Alright. I'll go around. I'll take the long way. Even though I don't want to. Oh, come on, turn around. Turn around for me, beautiful. If you don't turn around, I'll make you turn around. Okay. Didn't want to have to do this. I put it right in front of him. Turn around. Skills. Nothing but skills. Okay. There's a big ass wall. Okay, it's up there. Now. Can I make that jump? I'll be so mad if I can't. Ugh. There we go. Got all cool bo uh, cool? Got all the clue bottles. And I think. Which direction is the... Am I on the right side? No, I'm not. It's this way. The safe is over here. It's where that tank is guarding. Alright, Bentley. Tell me the code. IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Kateta is smarter than I thought. I believe well, not to brag, I took an IQ test and mine is at... Mine is at 118. Which is near levels of genius. Not genius, though. Two. Four. Eight. I think genius is like 120 or something, or 125. Alright, I gotten what now? I didn't even pay attention to what he said. What the hell did Bentley say I grabbed? What? It's not the voltage attack and it's not this. What? Bentley, what did I get? I don't even know what I got. I don't even need to go back to the hideout. Just leave the episode. There you go. Alright. Onward to episode 5. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol.
Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Sly Cooper and the gang in... A Tangled Web. Long toss. Is that what we got? Let's see what's on ThiefNet. What we got, Bentley? What? What happened to the sound? Excuse me? What happened to the game sound? <laughs> what? Huh. There's no sound. What? Alright, hold up. That's freaky. Come on, Sly Cooper, what's going on? I'll be so upset if this game crashed. Come on, video game. Come on, I believe in you, you can do this. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Did my save go through at least? I'm gonna be so sad if it didn't. Oh my god, I can't even go to the home home menu. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Did the console crash? Oh my god. <laughs> Sly Cooper, I love you so much. Why would you do this to me? You beautiful beautiful game you all right give me a second let me restart the console i don't know what the hell just happened i'll be right back in like two or five minutes depending on how the console wants to play ball with me You know what's the funny thing about this is? This is actually not the first time this game has crashed on me. This is the second time this game has crashed on me. The first time this game crashed on me is when I did a stream of the first Sly game. I'm sensing a trend. All right, now the real question is, did it save my progress? <laughs> Because if it didn't, I'm going to start crying. I'm going to have a breakdown. Oh, 
All right, Sly. Let's see. Load game. Nope, it saved it. We're good. Just a minor hiccup. All right. There we go. Back where we left off at. What the hell? Is this where we get the paraglider? Nice. Now you said I got the long toss? If that's if that's what I think it is then. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can throw things longer. I think that's for everyone. Alright. Well, that's the Yeah, that's the only place we can go right now. Now instead of worrying about usual patrols, we have tanks roaming the streets now. Looks pleasant enough. Looks like Castlevania to me. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. <laughs> All right, Bentley, I hear you. So you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. All right, I'm gonna grab. Oh, that light turned so fat. Oh God. I just want to grab this bottle real quick, which I can't. Okay, where am I going? I'm going all the way over there? Gotcha. Is there a safer way to get across? Oh, there we go. Don't mind me, just walking through the front door. I belong here. This is where my people are. Alright. Take a picture of this blimp. I don't think I want to go into a blimp when the area is surrounded by tanks. It sounds like a bad idea, Blint- uh, I'm about to call him Blintly. Bentley? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You see nothing! Damn it! They shot my hiding spot. No, I don't want a picture of that tank. I want a picture of that tank. That one's more beautiful. It's giving me... It's giving me the nice eyes. It's giving me those... Those capture me like one of your French tanks. Alright. And where else are we going, Bentley? Where's my other waypoint? So many goddamn searchlights everywhere. I can just jump up here, right? Come on. Just, damn it. That's a free bottle. I'm taking it. It's loud as hell. But it's mine now. Damn it. You got the sly. Here we go. You're enemies, aren't you? Just be on the safe side. Why am I up here? <laughs> what is the point of this? This way. No sleeping on the job. Alright, so what am I taking? Oh, no. What am I taking a picture of? Oh, I see. I don't take a picture of the of the educational tower. I thought I do. All right, well, down I go. Don't mind me, just leaving the same way I came through. I do belong here. This is my home. What am I taking a picture of now? Oh! 
Hello. And good night. That was, uh, I meant to do that. Do I gotta take a picture of everything else again? Nope, it saved. Boat. Oh, come on. Come on, it was green. Come on. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nela's army. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Yeah, it was. Very comedical. Comedical? Is that how you pronounce that? Wait, what? Am I not taking a picture of that? Comical. Comical. That's how you pronounce Oh, shit. Wait, what? What am I doing? Bentley, what is it you want me to do? Neela's HQ. Okay, then how come when I try to take a picture of it, you wouldn't let me? Let's try that again. God damn it, these searchlights are so far. Well. Neela's made a headquarters out of that old bank. It's a pretty secure location. That's a bank? I thought that was like a church. Don't they look like a gothic style church? I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork eye. Oh, that spin I did? Perfect. Now I gotta climb all the way back up there. It does look like a church, right? I'm not crazy, they're crazy. No, no, you can't hit what you can't see. Oh! I'm matrixing my way through this, right into the water. A perfect 10 though, if I do say so myself. Oh, it's fine, guys. Don't worry. I only got shot by a tank. I'll just walk it off. Sleep at the nearby inn. Hand my Pokemon into the into the Poke Center. Who cares if they're poisoned and burned and constantly bleeding out on the floor? There's a bottle down there. What? Down where? making me go crazy. We'll come back for it. We'll find it. We'll find the bottle. I have no doubt in my mind. There we go. I'm hearing a lot of bottles on this goddamn building, though. There's one over here. Alright. Just noticed we went in the water. Oh, really? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It's probably on, like, the boat route or something. Can I just take a picture of it from here? Oh no, I gotta go there. Okay. No sleeping on the job. Ow! This bottle there. This bottle there. I hear your beautiful serenades calling to me. Be so mad if I fall down. Try working your way around to the tower's window. Oh no, Sly! Why are you locking on down here? You son of a bitch! Oh, Sly, you bastard! That wasn't even my fault. I pressed the circle button and he went, nah, I want to go down there. I want that bottle. Now, what was your plan? I didn't even mean to hit the guy. I meant to hit the bottle, but Sly just turned around on him. Even I surprised myself with that. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Alright, Sly, this time, don't fuck it up. 
<laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> All right, Sly. You jump and you grab. There you go, buddy. You jump and grab. I hear a bottle up here, and it's driving me crazy. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <gasps> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get, like, a, a good angle. Cause you make me crazy. I'm crazy for you. <laughs> Thank you, bottle. I'll take that. Don't slide off, Sly. Oh, come on. Why you gotta land up there? You're making this difficult, buddy. Oh, I fucking hate you right now. Ooh, freaky. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Oh, damn right there's more. Why are you doing there's that? an eye full up here. Mila, she set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, I would like I would like to know why you're doing that too. You learned too much about the claw guy. And those two cuckadoodle doos like to watch. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Mila gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life. You know, it really doesn't help my, my mindset right now that like Carmelita is super fucking thick today. for no reason. Right, Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves. But I will That's a thick ass fox. And you will take the fall for me at That's all I'm saying. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And don't go to your happy place. Forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. Take a few photos, Sly, you creep. They knew what they did when they designed her. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was the it was the time of Jessica Rabbits and and Lola Bunnies and and Roxanne from a Goofy movie. Whatever happened? All right, let's be honest. What what's good with Max Goof? Why is he such like? Why is he such a slut? <laughs> like for real. Every movie, every special he's in, he has like some sort of new girlfriend. You got the Goofy movie. You got the Extreme Goofy movie, right? And then you got like the the fucking Mickey Mouse Christmas specials where he shows up home with like some goth chick. Like, come on, Max, what's going on? I don't think they're guards. I think they're just here to watch. That, that's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. In what the, the fuck, Bentley? Conventional weapons. Are you high? It's like I didn't think it was real. Old terminal. What? Where? Oh, here. I was so confused. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, Bentley? That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right. Head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. Nice work, Sly. Nice work. Between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, 
sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Sly, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near death uh, experience will Excuse me, Bentley? I do what now? <laughs> mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. Sly, you go out there and you uh, capture some ghosts. Excuse me? We can do that? All right, what do we have in Thiefnet? The paraglider, yes. I got to start pick I got to start getting some pockets. I need that paraglider. Oh, I need that paraglider so bad. It's calling to me. What the fuck? Are you okay, Sly? <laughs> His head was going crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh, guess I gotta go get some ghost. Now, how the hell would I even get up here? Don't I just... I would think you would just jump up, right? Oh, fuck. Nope. Nope. I was about to jump directly down there. All right, Sly. What happened with that? Supposed to grab onto the pole, but you didn't want to. I'll take that. How long do I have to wait for the boat? Damn it. You got something in your pockets. I will take that. Silver metal? Alright. I can use that. For something. Why am I getting pushed? What is going on? Am I still getting pushed back? No, I'm not. I'm good. Oh, so there's the bottle you were talking about. Alright. Just gotta... Wait for the boat take its... It's wonderful time, you know? I'm a Titanic myself. Well, I would. Sly would stay still. Alright, time to capture some go... Get the hell out of here. Step one to capturing ghosts. Kill a guy. Step two. Capture. What what the hell? Alright, Sly. There's your new objective. Sneak inside and smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Sly, what the hell happened to your hat? That sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was what? an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Oh. So they're trapped. How do you know they're trapped? How do you get in contact with these ghosts, Bentley? Bentley, are you a ghost? I think Bentley's a ghost. I think he... I think what really happened is that when he went to go rescue Sly, he died along the way. Oh, God. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> Bentley died along the way. And he just didn't realize it yet. Oh, look at this. Isn't this nice? Why is it sparkling? Oh. Okay. I didn't know I can do that. I just want to do it the cool way, okay? Damn. I don't trust you. 
Yep, I was right not to trust you. Be purified by the owl. Be purified by the fires of hell. If I can get you in there. Damn it. Come closer. You know you want to. Come on. And that's why I don't use the charge attack. <laughs> If the ghosts were trapped in there with the evil priestess, wouldn't the evil priestess be out as well? Hmm. I've modified the imager in your binocular to capture ghosts. How the hell did you do that? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts. Then set them free down the chimney of Zila's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. No, I think she'll just think it's fucking ghosts. I want to watch the I want to watch the ghost show where like ghost hunters go in and then they're like, oh no, it's a secret attack from the enemy. <laughs> They come to start a new world war. Instead of just being like, oh, wait a minute, the place is fucking haunted. Let me get the hell out of there. Like, what kind of Scooby Doo shit is that? First time you see a ghost, you go, yo, Mr. Mr. Willard, is that you? Old man Jenkins. I know if I ever saw a ghost, first my first option would be fuck that. <laughs> It'll be two words, hell and nah. Oh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna put. That's for making fun of me. All right, where the hell are the ghosts now? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Bentley must have met met this to the madness. Yep, definitely. I'm telling you, Bentley's dead. He died on his rescue mission. He's a ghost. Can I just take a picture of you from over here? Will that work? Gotta get right in frame. Bullshit. Can I not? Get you from here? Nope, I gotta get closer. Okay, cool. Don't mind me. Oh, don't turn. Come on, there's a ghost right there. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. You're up there, Sly. Come on, Sly. Come on, you sexy devil, you. Damn it. There I go. You're supposed to be wolf skeletons, right? Where the hell? Oh, there you are. And a bottle! How do I get to that bottle? How the hell do I get to that bottle? want that bottle. Alright, there we go. Now, where's the other ghost? One over there. One across the ways. There's a bottle there. Hmm.
that was a sharp turn. <laughs> that was me reevaluating my stance on life. Oh no! Huh? Ninja mode. All right, wait, hold up. Back up. Gotcha. Nope, didn't get you. There you go. Got to come. Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking ghosts I got to take pictures of. I thought there was only like two more. Despite the fact that there's big letters that said letters, my bad. Numbers. And that's telling me like that's how much you got left there, buddy. Keep on keeping on. Oh shit. Ow! How did I hit that? No 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 no, you see nothing. Go Sly, go! Damn it! That was my bad. Oops. At least I don't gotta take the same pictures over. And I'm over here now. So I'm closer to my targets. That's nice. Oh, come on. You know, one of these days I'm definitely going to have to sit down and play. I'm going to have to sit down and stream Fatal Frame. And that's going to be a fun day in hell when that happens. Because Fatal Frame scares the living shit out of me. It's one of the few games where you have to face the ghost <laughs> instead of run away. It's like the only way to defeat them is to look at them in the eyes. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, Beryl, you just did that for shits and giggles. Oh, can I get you from over here? Nice. Wait, what? Did it not count? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, no, it did. There's another one. Okay. Too far away? This should be good enough, right? Oh, come on. There we go. I love how that ghost is flying around the building with Carmelina inside. He's like, I want to watch too, guys. I've been there for a hundred years. I want to get my freak on. I might be a ooky spooky ghost, but what's this freaky deaky shit you're doing over here? That ghost is just all over the goddamn place. Come on, where are you? Really? It's clear as day, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Guess I gotta be lower. I don't wanna go... Maybe over here? Why are you being so difficult? Damn it. Oh, but that counts, but not the picture that was directly on it. Look at Sly. Smugness. Drop it down her chimney. Okay, whatever you say, Bentley. Don't mind me. 
just starting some trouble for no apparent reason. Alright. Jump up! Oh, come on, Sly. What the hell was that about? Oh, here we go. I thought I had to go higher. Mila still got that so that funkiness around her. Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Was her accent always that strong? She became like more Australian. Oh come on, Sly. Oops, wrong button. Alright, so now we have Bentley Murray. Alright, cool. Let's do... Let's do, uh, Bentley's. You got this, Bentley. Alright. Mojo Trap Action. Oh, that's a nice... Oh, that flowed perfectly. I can't jump while doing that. Damn it. Run, Bentley. Go as far as your little tiny legs can carry you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good. That's for you. <laughs> look at me. Look how his neck hits the ground. Ew. Hey, like a cracking noise, too. Alright, this is bullshit. Really? I can't get through unless I'm sly? Oh, now there's a spider, too. Come on. I got you. Wait, they can play spiders now? Oh, shit. I was thinking I can jump for that, for that boat, but I don't think I can reach it. I'm a turtle who can't swim. Epic get away. It was beautiful. Now I just gotta sit down and wait. Alright, come on, boat. Move a little bit faster. Please, for me. Do it for your best bud, Bentley. Can I make that jump? I feel like Bentley's too short to make that jump. Just barely make it. All right. Oh shit. There you go. Got health for me? Nope. Would've been nice though. Oh, is this the one I gotta do fucking, like, tower defense with Bentley? Ah, shit. <laughs> That's it. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from Murray, why are you so close to your goddamn camera? <laughs> wow. Back it up. Crazy. Not really. Bad mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector, and you're done for. Wow. Sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch. To smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, 
That should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Wow, thanks for that riveting conversation, Murray. You put in as much effort as as a Tinder match. Oh. Eat that. Oh, they all smash. Okay. The red energy scares the shit out of me because I think that it's something trying to kill me. Come on, bad mojo. attention to this because I don't want to fuck it up because later on it gets more difficult oh no looks like the spouts run out of bad mojo no matter I'm one fourth of the way to a full tank I'm one fourth it means you gotta do it three more times all right Oh, come on. I'm just trying to get some health out of here before I head to the next place. You guys got no health for me. At all. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what's the next location? All the way over there? Gotcha. Wow, it's all the way over there. Don't mind me coming through. All right, Bentley. What we got here, buddy? I don't like these spiders looking at me. Creep me out. Oh, that's last line of defense. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, shit. Maybe it's not ready yet. Come on. Get ready. Bad Mojo Collector was destroyed. Oh, they can't even hit you once. That's why. I remember not liking it. That's why. They can't hit me once. Got it. Oh shit. Hurry up, machine. <laughs> that was a close call. Come on. Alright. Oh, it hits him on swing back too? Nice. I got them in the rhythm. Oh no, I don't. Come on. There you go. Oh, how I miss. No. Oh no. You get away from me. Oh shit. And it's broken. <laughs> Damn it. You know, in hindsight, I should've just set a bomb down. I panicked. I forgot I could do that. Harry, strike. It's still resetting. Eight more time. 
All right, I got a nice little groove going here. It's not ready yet. Watch out. Uh oh, uh oh. Reset. Reset. Re come on, <laughs> just tapping the button. Come on, you can do it. Oh shit. It's not ready yet. Oh, come on. There we go. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. There you go. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Unless I somehow fuck this up at the last second. Uh oh. Eat that. Hurry it up. All right, we're good. Excellent. Nice job, Bentley. Another chamber in my mojo collector is full. Moving on to the third crypt. Two more times. We got two more times for this. Now where is... Oh, come on. Turn around. There you go. Some slim margins to land hits. Yeah. It's definitely. It's like a rhythm to it, but then sometimes the... uh. Like, the body in front of the other enemy, he stops in front of it, so it fucks up the rhythm. <laughs> but I think that one was the most difficult one, if I remember correctly. Actually, I think the one with fire is the most difficult one. There's, like, one where you're shooting fire at them. It's down here, right? Or am I going the wrong way? Where am I going? Oh, it is down here. Okay, cool. Don't mind me. Alright, Bentley, what we got? What are we working with here? I don't trust you. Oh, I th oh no. It's already started. Oh, no. Oh, that's the one with fire on it. Yeah, this is, this is the one I don't like, because you got to move around. And pray not to get hurt. And the traps have long cooldowns. Damn it. I ran straight into that. Got to remember that I got bombs. Oh, sleep gas. Come near me. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'll save that for when I get overran. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Not 
Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I got pushed in the corner. I'm good though. I stuttered. I stuttered. God damn it. This is the one that I don't like. I think the one after this is fairly simple. Maybe if I just start placing bombs everywhere, it will save me in the long run. You just said he's the Wizard King? Oh, fuck, no. Come on, get away from the button. Oh! Oh, no! This one's still out. Eat that! Come on, back up, back up, back up. Damn it. Hurry up, machine. And there's a present for you. Woo! Are we done? We're done. Nice. That does it for this room. Looks like I've only got one more. That is. That is panic inducing. I'm really getting the hang of this. I just sent you another. Alright, nice job, Bentley. Alright, guys, uh, give me a quick moment. I have to go check on something real quick.
All right. We are back. Sorry about that. Thank you for putting up with my shenanigans. I had to check on something. All right. <coughs> no wonder Bentley sprints like hell broke loose. Intensity level. Exactly. Kind of buried in the well. Ah, you'll figure it out. That shit is nerve wracking. Especially since it's like one hit and it's over. Get you out of my way, and you, and, oh, come on. Of course you call for backup. Oh, this is interesting. Alright, which one is this? I think this one's pretty easy? Oh, okay. Oh. I see. Because I can just knock him back easily. Oops, wrong button. Uh-oh. And then you got like a screen nuke button. And it feels and it fills up pretty fast here, so. Yeah, this one is definitely a bit easier. Oh, I need you guys to back the hell up. Oh! Damn it. I thought he was done with his attack. That one was completely my fault. That one was just a bad mishap for me. Go! Need more time. I need better reaction time. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Reset, reset. Hurry up, machine. It's not ready yet. I missed. Screen nuke. There you go. This will hurt. It's not back online. It's not ready yet. You guys have some really good reflexes. Oh my fucking god. Oh, oh come on. No, 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 no. Get to the button. Oh, come on. Guys are so difficult. Sorry about that. It's still resetting. Reset, reset. What? Did I not hit him? Oh, he missed. All right, panic mode. It has a reset. Watch out. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Takes me only forever to put a bomb down. And I don't want to do the sprint because I can't really cancel out of it. I don't think I can anyways. Nope, I can't. Nope, and I go right off the edge. All right. Don't do the adrenaline burst. Got it, got it. Uh oh. Thought he made it through. It's not back online. Still not online. The coup de grace. 
Oh shit. You fucked up my you fucked up my rhythm. Reset. And one more for fun. All right, the there you go. Is done. With a mojo collector at full capacity, I should be able to blow the clockwork. Now that our point dexter nerd Bentley has become a mass murderer. Good job, buddy. Time to get you back to the hideout. And the boat's gone. Wait a minute. Maybe I can make the jump. Don't leave me. Don't leave me behind. Oh, what the hell? The audio's all weirded out now. We're doing this shit again. It did this the other time we streamed this, too. You know what? Before I do that. Options. Save. Do it like that. At least this time it won't. If it does crash, we made sure that we saved beforehand. Maybe exit into the to the episode would change it, right? Let me try doing that. Nope, audio is still acting up. What the hell is with the audio in this game? Why does it keep doing that? Save and quit. Yes. I can assure you that my disc has no scratches on it. <laughs> oh, this time it didn't crash. And the audio's fixed. Okay. Hey, there we go. It's way better now. Alright, back to the episode. Murray, you're up. What do you got for us? Uh, kidnap the general. Yes. Gotcha. Just thinking about what would the easiest way for him to go be. Wait for the tanks to go by. Just head on through the front door. Nobody will notice a thing. I hope they don't anyways. Nope, they noticed me. Right off the bat. Oh, come on. Moving through. Uh, where's your... Where's your objective, Murray? Oh, there it is. Hi, Tana. How's it going? What if he doesn't want to come? How's your day? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't... He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. <laughs> might even come in handy along <laughs> the essentials. As a projectile. Wow. That is handy. Alright, grab the general and bring him back. Wait. Roof. I just, I just grab him, right? Great. Now bring it back to the safe house. I marked it in your binocular. To our safe house, or to? Okay, yeah, to our safe house. Just making sure. Hmm. Everything's fine. That's good to hear. Yeah, I love slide games too. If uh, oh shit. 
Oh no. Huh. Let's go. Let's go, old man. Don't mind us just making making our pass, you know? Is he speaking German to me? Oh shit, he's dead now. He's dead. Oh god. They shot him. My bad. I'm so sorry, General. Yeah, but I love slow games too. If um like every time PlayStation has an announcement or anything like that, my prediction is just Sly 5. Because Sly 4 ended on a cliffhanger. And that saddens me. Okay, let's see. Let's not get caught. Excuse me. I just burped into the mic. Excuse me, I did not mean to do that. Damn it! Why'd you have to say something, old man? <sighs> Shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Come on, tanks, don't see me. Just keep going. Keep going. Nothing strange here. Good job. There you go, Bentley. Oh, you didn't have to throw him on the ground like that, Murray. Oh my god. The man's got brittle bones. Slide 4 was kind of a mess, but Slide 5 would be amazing. You know, at this point, even if they don't make a Sly Fi, I would just be happy if they cancelled the movie, which no one knows if it's cancelled or not. Or if they just, um... They cancel the movie and they just go, let's just make a TV show. Like, a TV show in the animated styles that they did for Sly 4, because that's definitely the best part of Sly 4, is those cutscenes. Like, I would kill to have a show like that. It would do well, too. I can already see it doing, like, super good. Cause Sly's like right, fellas. Let's get down to business. The first steps to escalate. He has that same cool factor that Sonic has, and if Sonic can pull it off for like years, We're Sly can do it. Final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately. Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypt to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Yep, okay, gotta go let's grab that paraglider. Out. Yeah, I think Sly would be great as a TV show, or like a comic series, they can do that too. There's a lot of things they can do with Sly, because it's, it's that perfect, like, that perfect middle ground of kid-friendly, but also, you know, like, kind of like, scary shit when you think about it. Like... I love how the moment I said scary shit, we got 666 on the screen. That's amazing. Good job. Enough to get a paraglider. Nice. Yeah, but it also has, like, some of that spooky and... Oh, God. Sly, your head. Chill out. <laughs> some, of that, like, some of that spooky and eeriness to it. Especially when you talk about, um, like, clockwork. Because it's kind of, you know, it's really dark to be like, yeah, so this dude, like, just became a super robot over like centuries just to wipe out a family name like, that that shit's terrifying also he was kind of terrifying in the first game when you fought him that robotic voice and everything oh. and without spoiling too much for people who haven't uh, seen Sly 4 let's be honest clockwork was gonna make another comeback he was gonna make another comeback. There's no way he wouldn't. They did have the comics. I think they had it like leading up to Sly 4. But they never like advertised it really. So I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. 
You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. You know, if they wanted to, they can do like a whole game surrounding uh, Kid Cooper. Because <laughs> he's so likable. How do you not like Kid Cooper? He's amazing. He's like, I got crazy voices in my head telling me to do stuff too. <laughs> and Sly's like, what? <laughs> Why am I pressing the start button? Wrong button. All right, paraglider. I'm not, I should be using my, uh... oh wait, it's already a power up. Okay. I don't have to put it onto anything. I don't like how you're circling your buddy there. I'm gonna need you to get away from him. I need you to not do that. One of you look over here. Or both of you. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. And then I slip on through. Damn it! Huh! Did he just kill him? What the hell? The guard, the guard carrying key got killed. I've read that as the guard got carried away and killed his friend. Wow. It wasn't even the guard that, that I already stole from. It was the other one. Come on. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Go over there. I love the paraglider. How do you not love this damn thing? What? I thought you both had the key. Oh, wait, no, it saved the fact that I stole one. Okay. Well, then, I didn't need to pickpocket you. Go over there. Come on, Sly. One, two, three, four. Oh, Sly! <laughs> Make a whole series about a single Cooper? That'd be nice. Like, with everything that they have in the, uh... Everything that they have in like the Thievius Raccoonus, like if they wanted to, they can just make like even like a mini series, kind of like how um, like a uh, Pokemon like after they did Pokemon Origins, they did like a couple of mini episodes here and there. Same thing with like Sonic Mania, right? They can do like a mini series, like each episode focusing on like a Cooper. They can do that and then like have that hype build up to Sly Five if they wanted to, or like a new movie or something. There's a lot of things they can do with it. It's just that they don't want to for some reason. And I don't think we'll see one anytime soon. Because Sucker Punch, like, is... Sucker Punch is slowly taking the Naughty Dog route. Where... Naughty Dog was like, Here's Jack and Daxter. Then here's Jack and Daxter Grand Theft Auto. Then here's Jack and Daxter Grand Theft Auto with some racing in it. Then here's Jack and Daxter Racing. <laughs> right? So it's like... They're starting to do that because they're like, here's Sly, here's Infamous, here's, here's fucking, here's a uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which is a great game, right? And like, recently it was heard that they, uh, it was hearsay, that they, um, that they registered a name for, uh, Ghost of Tsushima too, so. So unfortunately, Sly... Unfortunately, Sly won't have his time in the limelight. You also play a Sly racing game? It depends. Depends for me. I mean, Sucker Punch's first game was like uh, some robot on wheels or something, right? So, I think they would have the physics down for that. Uh, oh. For some reason, I was thinking I had to take down the airplanes. That's from Murray. Why am I taking out my Binocucom? I keep thinking, like, for some reason I take out my Binocucom and I keep having flashbacks to, like, Sly 4, where you get an upgrade to see bottles and stuff. They do that in Sly 1 too, right? How am I supposed to sneak around? He's definitely gonna see me. Hey, 
Hey there, beautiful. Rocket Robot on Wheels. Yeah. See, that's what it was called. That's one that they don't usually they don't usually talk about that one. Yep, no stealth. As expected. Come here, big boy. Oh, they're shooting me. Ow. I'm trying to use the charge attack more often. But I really don't like it in this game because you can't move while doing it. You gotta like stay still. Oh, here's the safe. Wiretap. Nice job, oh, Slime. Yeah, yeah, but uh like uh what what was it? After a rocket robot a oh, rocket robot. After yeah, that is what it's called. Rocket robot on wheels. After that they did a... Uh, they did the uh, the other game that wasn't sly about a rat about a raccoon, and that's the one that they kind of always like hark back to. Set of are up in your I I just don't know why Sucker Punch won't do another sly. Like in every game they had after Sly, they keep putting sly Easter eggs, and it's like, guys, stop teasing me. Give me another damn sly. I want it. Naughty Dog's never gonna go back to Jack and Daxter's. They made that very clear because they had like a like a developer conference one day. And they're like, here's all the here's all the concept art for that would have been for Jack 4. And here's the delete button. And then they just deleted it. <laughs> well they didn't do that, but it felt like that's what they did. Cause they're like, we're beyond that. If we want if we're gonna make another Jack and Daxter game. We wanted, we wanted to do it for the right reasons. And by that, you mean, yeah, we don't care about Jack and Daxter. Let's talk about Drake now. Which he's he's done too now. If they do another Uncharted game, I bet it'll focus on like his daughter or whatever. Which I like Uncharted too. I know there's a lot of people who don't like it, but I like it. It's cool. It's not Jack and Daxter, but you know. What's the... I was about to ask a stupid question. I was about to say, what was the other games that Naughty Dog was working on? Hodoi. <laughs> Game Awards brought to you by Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> oh, man. That is... I find that hilarious. <laughs> I find that hilarious. That Game Awards stuff. It's like, like it or hate the game, there was no surprise that that game was gonna win. Right? They stopped the stream every five seconds to make sure to tell you that it was sponsored. I just completely went the wrong way because I wasn't thinking. Wow. That not that amazing? <sighs> you can't hit what you can't catch. Yeah. Your aim sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Out of my way. Give me that bottle. Alright. Where am I going? Up here? Alright, I gotta go up there to you. And then you're up there on that ledge. And the airplanes are trying to bomb me. That's great. Can I make that jump? Yes, you can. You sexy bastard. Don't turn around. Don't you dare. Thank you. Bye. Ow. I would hit back, but I'm afraid if I do, the mission might fail. Wolf got in my way. Now I'm getting shot at. Oh! Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I just need some health right now. I'll take that. That's nice. Now where's the tower? Over there. Gotcha. 
How many bottles do I even have on me? Oh. How close was the one I just heard? Oh, it's down there. I'll grab it. I'll grab that one before I head back to the home base. Of course you turn around the moment I get up here. scared of that bat. Looks like Man Bat from Batman. Man Bat is so underutilized. <laughs> the room with the voice modulator is marked in your binocu cop. Oh, is it now, Bentley? Okay, gotcha. Let me just grab this bottle down here so I won't have to come back for it later. Oh, it's on the roof. Oh, there's another one down there, too. I hear, like, a couple of them around me. Oh, come on, move your damn searchlight. up there. Okay, cool. Oh, come on, slime. Really? Alright, that's it for this area. There are probably some, like, up there, but I'm not gonna hunt for bottles now. I love this damn paraglider so much. You know what I want to come back as much as I want Sly 5 to come back? Like, I said it before in a different stream somewhere. I don't remember where, but somewhere. I want them to remake... And not, not remaster. I want them to remake... Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. Because that game really had a super unfair rap. It was... It had a lot of good ideas. The game is... The game is out and it's unfinished, right? And the team that made it, it was their first time making a Crash Bandicoot game and also their first time making a game in general. And despite all that, even though the game's unfinished and there's bugs here and there, it's still a good-ass game. It's actually, like, there's some, you know, there's some uh, bad points to it here and there, but... It actually has some of the best fucking platforming in the Crash game. Not counting Crash 4. Because Crash 4, it depends on how you like your how you like your stuff. Why am I so scared of this guy? Can I just get past you? Oh, wait. I have an alarm clock. Go check that out. Loser. But yeah, like, it has some, uh, like, it has a lot of really good platforming sections for a Crash game. Really? You're not gonna move out the way? Okay, cool. I'll just, I'll just eke myself back over here. Don't mind me. Voice modulator. That's nice. It. You've got the Contessa's voice modulator. What you looking at, buddy? Let's go put that thing to work. Come on, Sly, you can make it. You can make it. Damn it. I gotta get more Our damn keys. Guards have locked down the entrance to the sewer. Uh, the camera? Help. Alright. Well, let's get up here. Get a higher view. Now, let's see what's going on. Over there? Gotcha, Bentley. Is that a bottle? That's a bottle. 
Sly? What the hell? I spire jumped. Why didn't you listen to me? Oh, that's a bomb. Alright, where the hell... Okay, you're down there. You're both down there? Damn. Well, that guy doesn't seem like he's gonna move, so... This should be pretty easy for me. Thank you. Now, will I walk into your spotlight? Nope. I'm so thankful you guys have no peripheral vision. Despite the fact that you're birds, you should have peripheral vision. You should be seeing in, like, near 360. Or 180, or whatever the hell it is. No 360, near 360? Yeah, because they got their eyes, like, spaced apart and shit. Alright, where are we going, Bentley? I can't even see the damn marker. Excuse me, sir. Alright, over there. Gotcha. Then I roll out in style. Look at Sly leaning back. Alright, am I going the right way? I am. I gotta go right there. Take me to my destination, my sweet darling. I'm gonna Titanic myself. Come on. Come on, Sly, do it. Do the pose. There you go. Ah, eh, close enough. In the arm. Of an angel. Alright. You'll need to crawl through one of the runoff drains to get to the sewer entrance. Very loud and clear, Bentley. Already doing it. Oh, there's a bottle down here. Oh, you little sneaky bastard. What the hell? Forgot about that. There's a hole cracking under here. Ow. Excuse me coming through. Don't mind me. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Slice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. It's gonna be so cool, Sly. I love Bentley. I wish there was a moment where Bentley just like lost his shit and started cursing everyone out. I would laugh so hard. Nobody freaked out by that. <laughs> you good, Sly? You got fleas or something? Master better not be getting no fleas on my couch. Ooh. I see something shiny in your pockets. And of course you turn around. Because why wouldn't you? Never mind, it's gold metal. False alarm. Oh, really? Bentley and Murray got some shit to do, right? The thing Murray's got to do is tank mission. Oh, the bottle's up there. How do I get up there again? I don't remember. Oh, wait. I don't remember, I say. Totally forgot. Got the paraglider now. Why am I going this way? It'll be easier for me to do it over here. Mm -hmm. 
sly. What the hell was that about? Come on. Up and at him. There we go. I love this damn paraglider. It's my best friend. I never want to part ways with it ever again. It's sly. There we go. Alright. Bentley, you're up. I love you, Murray, but I hate your damn tank mission. Crypt hack. <sighs> Shit. Run like hell, Bentley. There we go. Now I'm assuming it's near the crypt, right? Oh, it's right there. Well, that was easy. Alright, Bentley, what we got? Oh, you just gotta go through some terminals and hack it. Down there when they've got no power. According to General Clawfoot, uh, mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down the Yes. Crypt, well, Sly, I'm not a bitch like you. <laughs> razor sharp spikes might scare me. In fact, terrorize my every fiber. It's the only way to power up that old computer at the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carbolina. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? Why would you say that, Sly? You're a jackass. Eh, they're not that difficult. Especially since the jump arc we got in this game is so goddamn beautiful. Ow! I knew that was going to happen. I meant to do that. All part of the plan. You know, gotta let them get their free hit in. Let them know who's really in charge. Don't mind me. Ow, shit. Right into the spikes. Caution to the wind. Well, this one should be pretty easy. Famous last words. Oh, come on. That one wasn't even my fault. I pressed the jump button. There we go. Don't even think about it. Just working off of instincts. Amazing, oh, Bentley. This acid battery should My Sly said... <laughs> just walk Sly says that he means it. Well, when Bentley says it, he's not. Oh, Prepare wow. To be hacked hey, cause today. Bentley... Hey, you know what? Bentley's so goddamn adorable, he can say whatever the hell he wants. Oh, God. Look at this shit. They don't fire at you, but they just approach you slowly and menacingly. Listen, Bentley has glasses. You would never hit a guy with glasses. <laughs> never, ever. See you later, losers. And then the one, the one guy here, the last fence, he's actually at a good position. There you go. Good job. Get you, Contessa. That was freaky. How many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes. So I've heard. <laughs> I love the Contessa. That's one down, two to go. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminal. It is, after all, filled with acid. And okay. also, that's Ready filled with water. Of hacking mastery. 
this <laughs> camera please caution to the wind my friends <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I'm be honest I didn't see the spikes as clearly as I thought I did I thought that was an opening sp okay. I thought that was an open Ready spot but I mean hey when it comes to platformers, isn't it fun to just do it in one go, camera? God damn it. You know? Like, I do that in Crash 4 a lot, even though I really shouldn't. <laughs> like, I try to do it all in one go, because it's fun to just, like, react to shit, right? I thought I, I thought I would land. I thought I would land. Did I run past the terminal? I think I ran past the terminal. Okay. For another Speed run practice? No, not mastery. really. It's just fun to like go through it. Like how Sonic is supposed to be, but it never is because there's always like a wall or like some bullshit blocking your way. Or you're running straight into spikes. Alright, if I... <laughs> Was there a terminal at the end of that? Did I just run past like a terminal? Oh shit. There we go, not too bad. No, there wasn't a terminal here. Okay. Alright, I'll try not to be as goofy about it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it! I thought I had okay. enough distance. Ready for another session of hacking that one was my fault. I just didn't have enough distance on that one. There we go. Not too bad. Alright. Camera, please. For fuck's sake. All I gotta do is make it to the terminal. Give me a nice little checkpoint. There we go. Oh, there's triangles here now. I never thought I would be... I never thought that would actually worry me a day in my life. Oh no! There's triangles! Whatever shall I do? Kinda like Squidward. He's like, oh no! He's hot! Be gone, you damn triangles. Got it. Maybe I should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. I like how subtle it is when he hacks into it. One more computer and I can get out of here. Am I saying triangles are hot? No, I'm saying like uh <laughs> I'm saying, uh, <laughs> I'm saying, like, how it's, like, not really that much of a problem, but it is. <laughs> it's like, why would a guy being hot is a problem to you? It's like, but it is, though. Now triangles are a problem to me. <sighs> I miss classic Spongebob. I mean, like, that's a stupid statement for me to say. Let me take that back. I miss something that I can just watch if I wanted to. What I mean is, I miss the way they used to handle Spongebob. And I don't know, I don't know, for some reason they had like this period of time where they started doing like gross out humor with Spongebob. It's like, guys, we left that shit back during Ren and Stimpy. People didn't like it then that much, they still don't like it now. <laughs> like, like, the only thing that gets away with it at this point is, like, South Park and maybe, like, Bob's Burgers or something. Oh, I know you get it. I know you get the joke. But I must explain it. 
gives me something to talk about. Or I'll just stare at the screen and not say a goddamn word. Oh my god, I'm getting overran. Alright guys, you gotta give me some space. Come on. Never thought shapes can be so goddamn terrifying. Damn it! Stand over here. Come on, just a couple more. There you go. The hell away from me. Oh no. Well that was that was that was pretty easy actually. What the hell? <laughs> what? Old SpongeBob's the best, always quote it. Of course you always quote it. It's so quotable. No. I wish Danny Phantom was more quotable. No. Oh no, you didn't, Carmelina. That old computer powered up. My work here is done. Also, I want to point out, is this like the fucking what, tenth time in a stream that I started talking about old fucking Nickelodeon cartoons? I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> but they're so goddamn good to talk about. You know what, let's talk about old Disney Channel shows instead. Let's do that. Remember how Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was great, but then Sweet Life on Deck is fucking garbage? <laughs> Actually, that does remind me of something, right? Um, recently I had, like, a conversation with someone where we were talking about, like, will there ever be a lack of, like, vampire shows and stuff like that? And, um, for the most part, there's not gonna be. And then it brought up, like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I, I barely watched. So, I'm the last person anyone should talk to about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But then that reminded me of how Disney tried to do their own version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like, literally in the same exact way. With, um, with starting out with a movie and then doing a show. And that one was called My Babysitter's a Vampire. And, although the movie is fucking terrible dog shit uh the show was actually really fucking good and it was one of the few shows that of course at some point they were gonna do their little teen drama shit of like will they or won't they get together but like for the most part the show was just like it's like it was like uh like super like you know uh disney's version of like supernatural and like buffy the vampire slayer it played just like that group of people dealing with spooky shit. Kind of like how Sabrina on, like, Netflix is going right now, right? And it was really good, and it got, like, a second season, and then after that, I think it got, like, a special or something, and then they just stopped making it. I guess it just didn't sell that well or something, but it was, it was actually a pretty good show, and the actors were pretty damn good. And it just sucks that that show ended when it did, and favors for life's, like, uh, no, no offense if anyone likes the shows, but, like, like, that got thrown to the wayside for, like, Good Luck Charlie and fucking, and Liv and Maddie or whatever the hell it's called, and Jesse and all that other weird kind of, like, sitcom teen drama shit. Where it's like, you had something that actually had, like, a narrative going. And then they're like, nah, man, people don't want that. Back to more Sweet Life on Deck. Right? Like sweet, like, sweet Life, Zack and Cody, like, it was never that serious, but at least it wasn't trying to, like, every episode going like, Will, will, Coley, will Cody and Bailey get together? Will he follow his 12-year plan of axing a girl out? And it's like, oh, come on, man, you're fucking, you're what? You're supposed to be, like, what, 17 in the show or something, 16? Buckle the fuck up and ax her out. <laughs> like, I'm tired of your bullshit. <laughs> Murray, use both analog sticks to drive the tank. Press both up to move forward. Pull down also, when you think about that, isn't that, like, really kind of stupid? To fire your turret, tap when you think about it, it's button. like... You'll need to take out six tanks the plan to... Like, I understand. I understand, like, uh... 
you know, getting to know somebody first and being their friend and stuff like that, and then you ask him out. But it was it was weird because he's all like, no, I have to be her friend for a set amount of time, and then I can ask her out. It's like he only was her friend to because he liked her instead of like genuinely wanting to know her. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's the- Oh god. Oh god. Okay, let me explain how this works, right? You push up on the left stick. It turns you that way. That's going up on the left stick. You push up on the right stick. It turns you that way. That's how you move the tank. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, never liked that in shows? Yeah, me neither. It's kind of weird. Also, it gives, like, teens the, st like, the stupid impression, like, listen, if you befriend a girl, though, worst controls ever. Exactly. That's why I didn't want to do this shit. You can't even aim the fucking tank. Well, you can somewhat aim it, but... Wait, why am I trying to shoot them? Just run over their asses. Out of my way. Hey there, sexy. Die. This thing better hold together. Like, come on, guys. Resident Evil got the hang down of tank controls before this shit. But yeah, in shows like that, it also gives, like, you know, impressionable teens. Uh, I say impressionable teens. I'm not that old. But the reason I say that is because the teens I had to go to school with were super impressionable. Impressionable. To the point where I'm like, guys, just stay away from me, please. No, I don't want to smoke weed in the back alley with you. If I wanted to smoke weed, I would just head home and ask my mother. Because she doesn't give a fuck. But I don't smoke, so. It'll be a cold day in hell when, uh, when you see me smoking. I vow never to keep these lungs clean and clear. But, um, yeah, it gives, like, impressionable teens the, uh, the shitty idea that, like, listen, you befriend a person and then you win their trust so that you can make it super fucking awkward when, like, you find out they don't like you and then you stop hanging around them. Oh my fucking god. Tense. Yeah, it is tense, Murray. Damn. <laughs> this is tense. No, it's broken. That's what it is. Remember, all sticks up to move forward, hold down for reverse, and in opposite directions to rotate. Oh, trust me, Bentley. I know. It's just not good. Shazingo Dingo. What the fuck? What am I, Viewful Joe now? Ashina Go Go Baby? Ashina Go Go Baby. Alright. Like, going on these fucking bridges suck. Oh my god. Mm. Can I, like, go into the water on this damn thing? Shoot. Damn it. Like, even turning is slow as fuck. Like, listen, if you're gonna make the controls like this, at least make turning faster. Oh my fucking god, where are you going, Murray? Oh my goddamn Jesus. Turn around, fuckface. Because I'm not moving from this spot. Uh oh, someone behind me? Someone's behind me! No! One, oh, come on. One, two, three. Come on. Damn it. This is not fun. This is not fun. You know what? At least it's better. I'm be honest. I, even though this isn't fun, it's, to me, it's better than the vehicle sessions and Sly 1. Those things just piss me off. Especially that stupid chicken thing. Where it's all like, don't let these two chickens hit you, because they'll explode. It's like, alright. Alright, I'm just gonna stay put, wait for him to show up, or it, or her, or whatever, you know? Just shoot it. Come 
Come on. I love how the tank is like dancing to its own tunes. There you go. No, don't go. Come back. Bastard. All right, two more. Where the fuck are they? Oh, it's health. Give it to me. No. What a tease. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Don't run away. Coward. Smooth ass dodge. You see that one coming out, did you? Oh my god. Thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. I'll just give me one sec. I don't want to fucking know. Uh, thanks for the host. Thanks for our host as well. How do I pronounce that? Is it. Is it Levon? Levon? It's time to wage war right? on the castle, and in the you can, oh, I can call you Toaster. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. First, oh, man. Take down the spotlights on the hmm. main gate it's Finnish. Oh, really? Then, with the help of the That's interesting. I'll order Nila's forces to attack. Slide Thank you very much for the support. The two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp. And we'll use it to get inside her re-education. Also, you're a slide speedrunner. That's great. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the shadow how is, um, off their post. And I have to ask. Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear how, the Contessa. How do you go about doing the speedruns? Do people, like... I, Because I would assume... I don't speedrun games, but... I would assume that people would, uh... Like, look at other speedruns. Take tips and tricks from that. And get this thing started. It's hard to pronounce for non-Finnish people. Oh damn. <laughs> well, you have a have a ghetto kid from New York here, so everything's hard for me to pronounce. But uh, I would assume that speedrunners usually watch other speedrunners, pick up some tips and tricks, probably learn the movement of things, right? Learn how to break the game so that you don't have to do it Murray's tank bullshit. God damn it. I love you, Murray, but I hate your stupid tank. Operation High Road. Gotcha. All right, Murray. I think the, the only I think the only speedrun I've ever search. watched was uh a Skyrim one. On and not because I like Skyrim, but because uh it was back when uh it was back when I used to watch Game Grumps. I'm pretty sure everyone knows who they are. Right? And then, uh, what was it? Ross and Danny, they did, uh... They did, uh... They were doing a Skyrim playthrough, but since they knew it would take forever, Ross, like, learned how to speedrun it. Found a couple of proxies and tricks and others. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let me... Oh, fuck. Oh, Jet. You can't shoot what you can't... Oh, wait. He's not even paying attention to me. Okay, well... Damn, kind of hurt my feelings now. I hope that Have I ever played slide the three? Truth, or this mm -hmm. is gonna get ugly. Master oh, Thief yeah. Challenge Clip, and it's third the in the world. Oh, now, really? Yeah, I played slide three. I played them all. And I'm still currently hoping that we get a sly, a sly five one day. Mercenary forces. The castle the defenders are down. down. Opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. 
Um, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if links work in the chat for some reason, even though they should, because someone was trying to do it earlier. But um, whisper it to me. I'll check it out. What the hell? Bentley became super small. <laughs> oh god. You you're so adorable. Give him a little kiss, Sly. Kiss him on the cheek. Alright. We can make it, Bentley! Oh shit, we might not we might not well, we might not make it, Bentley. I love the goddamn paraglider. Hold on, pal. Mm. This could get rough. <laughs> this can get rough. Bentley, act as my back shield. Ow. Are you stuck in the wall? There you go. All right. Let's yep, there you go. The link won't work. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to check that after this stream. I'm going to check the settings on that because the link should be available. And I know I took... Uh, I know I took auto mods off. Yeah, Link should be available, but for some reason it's not. So, uh, just whisper it to me, <laughs> right? Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. You can link it on Let Discord. Oh yeah. Face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. I do not know my Discord by heart. Let me pull that up. For you. Oh, fuck. You know what? Let me do it after. After this. During, like, a cutscene or something. Alright. Oh, uh, shit. Come on, triangle. Well, I just gotta get rid of these guys first. Because they're the ones who are actually firing at me. There we go. I'm so terrible at twin stick shooters. Come on. Damn it. It's a little uncomfortable when you get hit. Because you get like a little bit of you get like stun locked a little bit. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Don't worry about it, Bentley. Just keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. You sexy bastard. That should do it. Alright, where the hell is my uh Discord at? <clears throat> Aha. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. All right. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of Oh my god, Tar Carmelita has an earring? Really I never noticed that. Shadow guard. Shadow guard. Wow, you're a Come shit shot, Carmelita. Face. That's why we love you. If you weren't a shit shot, I'd be dead by now. Alright, let me... Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, uh, Sly. This might have a larger blast see. than anticipated. Epic slow mo. Nice job, Ben. You okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Taps. It's safely in hand. Mila? Oh no! Thanks for clearing Mila. out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Oh my. Hmm. Wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta ta! It's gonna make me chase her in like two seconds. And escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It's. 
this wasn't in the plan. All right. I sent you my Discord over the whisper. Uh, the first letter is capitalized, and make sure you just put the number sign before the numbers, because Discord's like crazy about that shit. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. All right. I love the goddamn paraglider. All right, let me see what you said real quick. <laughs> he said, oh no, Bentley. Uh, on kind of a break from speed running Sly. Yeah, I definitely get that. So you like to watch playthroughs. That's nice. Yeah, I definitely get taken a break because I, I took a break from... Uh, I took a break from... Um, okay, Vanilla, you really didn't need to do all that. I took a break from Phoenix Wright so that we can get... An, oh my fucking god. So that we can get... And a little bit of Quartz Party going, and now I'm really missing it. So once we finish with the uh, Book of Shadows, we'll be heading into... Oh, fuck me, I can still see her. We'll be heading into, um... Whatchamacallit? Trials and Tribulations, the third Phoenix Wright game. Attention all bombers. Focus your attack on the contestant's blimps. Why did you hit the Heads rock? Up, what was that about, about Neil? Under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. I wish I can just knock her out, right? But I have to chase her. She's really easy to catch up to. Especially when she does dumb shit like this. You pose zero threat to me, Neela. Oh, I thought she was going to hit the explosion. Yeah, I'm not going through that. You're crazy. That's a guillotine. I'll lose my head. I almost lost sight of her, not gonna lie. Aww. Caught in a web. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. <laughs> Shitty thumbs up. I love you, Sly, you goofball. Technically, it belongs to Cloud. What the hell just happened to her? The eye belongs to me. Actually, it belongs to Clockwork, which I killed. And for some reason, I didn't think about picking up the parts. So it belongs to his next of kin. Oh shit! Back to another goddamn plane section. This one shouldn't be. As hard as the other ones, though. Painful. Where is the other planes? There we go. You know what game had like the worst air airplane? Uh, can't even see the goddamn word. Airplane sections. If you ever played Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex. Those vehicle missions are fucking hell, and I hate everything about them. Especially the one where Coco's like in a plane and shit. I'm the Lizard King. Stop shooting me! Oh shit. Did he just kill his own teammate? Oh, damn it! I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. Come on, you're the last one. There we go. Clutch. Did it. 
I'm amazing. Yeah, friendly fire was turned on. What the fuck? I'm not the Contessa. No! My precious beautiful baby boy! That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. How am I ignorant playing dress up no with the legacy if I got rid of clockwork and protected my legacy? You know, for a you psychiatrist, you're pretty stupid. Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Oh! Okay, that knockback. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, hold up. Hold up. I forgot how to even fight you. I think I just dodge and shit. I'm just waiting for you to do your freaky eye thing that you do. Bentley's like, I'm alive. Oh, come on, Carmelita. Oh, that was a bad hit for you, Contessa. Oh, shit. Oh god damn it, knock back. There we go. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for I don't you. believe that. all your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Don't worry about it, Bentley. I'll blow her to fucking Kingdom Come. <laughs> She yeah, gone. shoot at her tank to incapacitate her. Now this fucking sucks, cause you really gotta like get her before she gets away, cause she can get away. And you got this stupid ass roundabout here. Oh my fuck. Yep, she's gone. Yeah, I'm not catching her. Damn it. Oh my god. Out of my goddamn way. Avoid explosive barrels. Note to self, find a way to control this damn thing better. And turning is so fucking slow. Like, if you're gonna make the controls this bad, at least make the turning the same speed as going straight. She's so gone. She's so goddamn gone. Yeah, she's free. She's gone. She's out of here. I'm not catching up to that. Oh my. Murray. She's super gone. I might as well just. I might as well just drive off. Yep, I'm doing it. Goodbye, world. I'm gonna have to reset that. That was not...
That was not good. How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? She doesn't even know how to drive the damn thing, and she still drives better than me. Almost. Oh, I can just go through the guillotine? Well, that would've been nice to know earlier. Fuck shit, man. Got it. Nice. Wait to lead that shot. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Kuku. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. That sounds like some oogie boogie spooky shit. Oh, there we go. That creeps me out, the way she does that. Ow! There we go. Ooh, almost got hit by that one. You know... For a smart intellectual lady, you're not really that smart. You really telegraphed your moves. You're sending out little health droplets for me. You know? Leave yourself wide open. And even if I get hit, the little robot children just come and save me. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Back to the shitty and grin. I love it. Good job, team. Let's move out. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested. The Contessa was beaten, and I finally was able to get my hands on the Sharingan. And now I will become the true Hokage. Further by promoting Mila, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control, and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. All right. Nice job, team. Now, before we head to the next episode, gotta get the rest of those clue bottles. I think we had, like, what? About six or five of them left to find? Shouldn't take too long. Slides up to you. What we got? Five. We have five left. Okay. I'm just gonna run around here real quick. Oh, now we got the paraglider. It'll be way easier to look for these damn things. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was over here. I actually don't hear it. Okay. Let's... They're probably all the way up on that goddamn tower. That's where most of them are at in this level. Scale this tower and see what we got. I 
hear one right now. It's up there. Oh, come on, Sly. Come on. There we go. Okay. Wait. Oh. Alright, I thought I heard another bottle, but it's just like the... Like the music. Keep an ear out. The good thing about this... Uh, this area for, like, finding bottles is that, like, it's not... It's not that wide, it's just very vertical. It's a very vertical area. Is this, uh... first before I even, like, scour the ground. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any over here, and I know there's not one on this tower over here because we got it already, so... As for the big buildings, we're kind of in the clear. sure there's not one hiding over here somewhere. Is that a bottle or is that or is that this thing in front of me right now? No, that's a Yeah, it's a bottle. Just get you out of my way. Oh here you are. Lovely. Three more. Hmm. I like hunting the bottles down. It's kind of therapeutic. Until you get that one bottle that you just can't find. Thanks a lot, bomb. Ow! Barely saw that one. I will now move from that location. Hearing bottle, then I guess they're not. Huh. I'll head to ground level, check it out one more time, and then I'll head to the other section. Oh shit! Damn it! Damn it! Hooah! Oh shit, I didn't expect you to follow me down here. Excuse me, coming through? Is there really no bottle over here in this area? Like, I've barely been to this area over here. Huh. I guess not. Maybe they're behind the, uh... Maybe they are behind... The hideout. Of course you're gonna go this way. Of course you see me. Come on, there's only three bottles left. Here one. It's on that rooftop. It's on the rooftop. Oh, looks like traffic's backed up. That's nice. Don't mind me coming through. 
There we go. Okay. Two more bottles. Maybe one might be on this. Oh, here another one. Yeah, it is on that power line. Okay. Oh, shit. Come on, Sly. Alright. Let's get some momentum going. A little bit more. That's good. Hear you. You're over here. I see you. I just want you out my way. Okay, good job. Now, where the hell was the safe at again? It was. Was it through? Oh, I I know where it's at. I know where it's at. Try not to die on my way there. Come on. There we go, Sly. Uh, this direction, right? I think it's through here. Or not. I thought this was the area I go to, uh, to get the, um, what was it called? I remember seeing it when we went to go get the voice modulator and stuff. I guess that's not the right area. Where is it? Oh, come on. Give me a break. You got health for me? Of course you don't. You're useless. Thank you. trying to think. Where would it be? Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm so dead! Don't mind me. Do not mind me. Let me be, guys. Let me be. Was Bentley only able to go down here? Or could Sly go in here too? No, this is for Bentley. Alright, where the fuck? I don't remember where it's at. Was it... Was it one of the doors up here? I don't think so. Was it near the crypt? Might have been near the crypt. It's not this door. Shit. Thought I remembered where it would be. I obviously don't. Okay. That poses a problem. here. Is it on, like, a building or something? It might be... It might be on one of these buildings I have to climb up. Hmm. No, it wouldn't be up here. I know it's not in Carmelita's room. I'm actually confused as to where the hell the, the room is at. It doesn't show up on my Binocicom, does it? Of course it does! Of course it does! And I'm staring right at it! 
That's amazing. That's a big fucking oof moment. Good job, me. Oh, and I'm gonna die before I can even get to the damn thing. Hey guys, look over there. Something really cool. You should like, totally check it out. Damn it. Oh, that's health. Out of my way, losers. Oh, of course you're putting these damn things down. Ow. Bitch. Thank you. All right, Bentley, tell us what we got. Security around the Contessa's castle is tight. She must have something really good in here. Punch in 969. Gotcha. 969. Nice. Rage bomb. rage bomb. Move. Oh, you're not going to explain it to me, Bentley? Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's see. Rage bomb. I think it does what it implies. You bomb people. Since them in the rage, they probably attack their, their teammates. Okay. First things first. Because this game's been acting goofy tonight. Make sure we save that progress. All right, exit the level. Onward to episode six. He who tames the iron horse. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Sly Cooper and the Gangan. He who tames the Iron Horse. All right. Now, oh wow, I already hear a bottle out there. Now with that setting the the mood for the next episode, unfortunately, it is time that I have to end the stream. We went over a little bit, a couple of minutes, oh, we went over about like 30 minutes than my usual end time. But, fortunately, we have to end it here, right? And we made some good progress, way better than we did uh, last time, because we only did like one chapter last time. But, um, don't taunt me. But yeah, I'd like to thank everyone who came and watched live. I, I greatly appreciate it. Also, next time we stream, which is in the schedule, we'll be streaming uh, a JRPG called Conception. So, if you guys like anime and titties and goofiness and all that mixed together at one <laughs> then maybe you'll like that 
But I'll see you until then, right? Thanks for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. I know I'm not I know I'm not the best streamer out there, not the most popular, but I try. I try to do what I can, right? Just make a nice little chill atmosphere for people. But yes, like always, have to end it. Next streams in the schedule. I feel like there's something else I should say. Oh yeah, um, this week I'm gonna try and upload the Outlast playthrough onto YouTube. So if you wanna watch that, that's gonna be going there. And I think uh, I think some other videos that I had and stuff like that will probably get uploaded. Um, and past streams and stuff like that. But that's all I have to announce for that. So, as always, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who watched. Uh, for people watching on VODs, you mean a lot too. And for people watching on YouTube, try and come watch it live because you guys don't get to see it until the playthrough's done, which kind of sucks. So, once again, thank you to everyone. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.